여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 첫째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사 피해자 유가족들을 지원하기 위해 위로금 10억 원을 전하기로 했습니다. 첫 소식 김선태 리포터가 전해드립니다. 지난 주말 발생한 이태원 인명사고는 전 국민에게 큰 충격과 안타까움을 전했는데요. 사고 발생 다음 날인 30일 이영훈 목사는 주일 예배 설교에 앞서 참사 피해자들과 가족들에게 위로의 말을 전했습니다. 어젯밤 이태원에서 할로윈 데이 축제로 모였던 청년들이 밀려서 넘어지면서 오늘 아직까지 149명이 사망한 것이 확인됐습니다. 유가족들에게 깊은 위로의 말씀을 전하고 또 지금 병원에 있는 많은 청년들이 빨리 건강이 회복돼서 가족 품으로 돌아가게 되기를 바랍니다. 이번 사고로 156명의 사망자 등 300여 명의 사상자가 발생했는데요. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사로 절망에 빠진 피해자 가족들을 지원하기 위해 10억 원의 위로금을 전달하기로 했습니다. 우리 교회의 사랑의 섬김은 각종 통신사와 언론을 통해서도 집중 조명됐고 또 한국교회의 위로사역에 도화선이 됐습니다. 지면을 통해 입장을 전한 이영훈 목사는 우리는 성경의 말씀처럼 슬퍼하는 자들과 함께 울며 고통 중에 있는 분들을 위로하고자 우리 사명을 다할 것이라며 한국교회가 이 일에 함께 나서주길 바란다고 전했습니다. 우는 자와 함께 울어주는 것이 우리 그리스도인들의 사랑의 삶의 모습이 어야 되지 않겠습니까? 우리가 하나님 이곳에 있지만 우리 하나님 앞에 기도할 때 하나님께서 그들의 마음을 오르만져 주시옵소서. 또 2일 수요 예배에선 참사로 어려움을 겪고 있는 유족과 부상자들의 회복과 치유를 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 우는 자들과 함께 울라는 예수님의 말씀에 따라 국가와 사회의 아픔에 함께하며 우리 사회의 아픔이 조속히 치유되고 회복되길 한마음 되어 기도합니다. FGTV 뉴스 김석태입니다. 우리 교회 부흥과 발전을 논의하기 위한 제2차 중직자 워크숍이 지난 29일 이영우 목사를 강사로 있었습니다. 계속해서 김선태 리포터입니다. 이날 모임은 지난 9월 열렸던 1차 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회 주요 과제들을 점검하고 또 풀어가기 위한 시간이었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 우리 교회가 부흥의 물결에 오르기 위해 무엇보다 기본에 충실해야 할 것을 언급하며 리더들이 먼저 기도의 회복에 앞장서야 할 것을 강조했습니다. 우리 모두가 그러한 부흥의 물결을 타야 되는데 제일 시급한 것이 기도의 회복입니다. 기도의 회복. 여러, 여러 막론하고 리더들이 기도하지 않으면 교회에 여러 가지 문제 어려움을 해결할 방법이 없습니다. 우리들이 먼저 무릎을 꿇어야 됩니다. 우리들이 먼저 하나님 기도해야 됩니다. 덧붙여 창세기부터 계시록까지 말씀 교육 강화의 중요성을 말했고 전도운동 회복의 필요성을 도전하며 원초적이고 원색적인 성령운동과 방언기도의 회복을 당부했습니다. 앞으로 우리 교회 기본 사역이 우리 순봉교회가 따르게 부흥하게 아니라 우리 조영기 목사님께서 늘 제가 귀 못이 박히도록 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 전성도 성형 받고 방안하는 운동. 전성도. 지금 부흥하는 교회는 장로교회, 감리교회는 다 방안해요. 다 방안해. 또 과거 경험과 서열만 고집하는 꼰대 정신이 교회 안에 있어서는 안 된다며 교회 안에 유모차와 휠체어가 편안하게 다닐 수 있도록 젊은 세대와 약자에게 배려하는 생각의 전환이 필요하다고 말했습니다. 생각의 전환. 이제 우리가. 눈높이를 20대, 30대에 맞춰갖고 낮아져서 섬기는 자세로 가야 돼 여러분들 교회를 좀 바꾸셔야 돼 여러분들이 앞장서 헌신을 하셔야 돼 계속해서 이영훈 목사는 앞선 오크숍에서 제기됐던 교회학교 지역분교 운영안과 교회 내 결혼 지원 방안 등을 논의했고 우리 교회 모바일 앱을 활용한 매일 아침 메시지 전송과 청년 일자리 박람회 등에 대한 연구를 제안했습니다. 워크숍에 이어 김영석 성해 부본부장이 제26차 세계 우순절 대회에 대한 결과 보고를 가졌고 참석자들은 우리 교회의 부흥과 사역을 위해 합심하여 기도했습니다. 우리 교회가 강한 부흥의 물결에 올라 전 세계에 하나님 나라를 확장하는 거룩한 사명을 잘 감당해 가기를 기대해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 
순국음 실업인 선교 연합회 사회사업 미용 선교회는 28일 개인적인 사정으로 결혼식을 올리지 못한 여섯 쌍의 부부에게 가을날의 아름다운 추억을 선사했습니다. 이찬미 리포터가 전합니다. 결혼 행진곡과 함께 오늘의 주인공들인 신랑 신부가 입장합니다. 이날 결혼식을 올린 부부는 여섯 쌍으로 농어촌 거주자와 다문화 가정. 탈북민 등 피치 못할 사정으로 식을 올리지 못한 이들입니다. 결혼식을 위해 사회사업 미용 성교회 회원들은 신랑 신부 메이크업은 물론 턱시도와 드레스 대여까지 무료로 제공했고 순복음 실업인 성교 연합회 홍보본부는 신랑 신부의 소중한 추억을 담은 웨딩 촬영을 지원했습니다. 사회사업 미용 성교회 송구명 회장의 사회로 진행된 예식에서 주례를 맡은 이영훈 목사는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치길 기원했고 또 서로에 대한 배려와 섬김을 당부했습니다. 오늘 여섯 가정 하나님께서 큰 복을 주길 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 지금까지 힘들고 어려운 인생을 살아왔지만 이제부터는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치하고 행복하고 기쁘고 장수하고 의미 있고 보람되고 행복한 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. 신랑 신부들은 이영훈 목사의 성혼 선포에 따라 머리를 맞대고 혼인 서약에 큰 소리로 답했습니다. 함께 생활한 지 40년 만에 또 39년 만에 식을 올린 부부들은 너무 감사하다고 입을 모았습니다. 오랜 기간 미룰 수밖에 없었던 숙제를 마친 여섯 쌍의 신랑 신부들. 미래를 향한 발걸음이 더할 나위 없이 경쾌해 보입니다. FGTV 뉴스 이참입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 이영우 목사는 지난 30일 주일 예배에 참석한 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들과 환담을 나눴습니다. 이 자리에는 국제사역 담당 길버트 곤잘레스 위원 등이 함께했습니다. 이영우 목사는 우리 교회와 국제구호개발 NGO 구피블이 함께하는 사업들을 소개했고 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들은 이들 사업에 대한 미국의 협력과 한미동맹 강화를 강조했습니다. 이영호 목사는 지난 28일 유력 시사 잡지인 월간 조선과 인터뷰를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 이영호 목사는 코로나 이후 한국 교회의 회복과 부흥, 또 섬김과 나눔 사역 등 다양한 주제로 대화했습니다. 또 코로나로 촉발된 젊은 세대의 미래에 대한 불안함 증가에 대해 한국 교회가 위기를 기회로 바꿔 나가는 지혜가 필요한 시점이라고 진단했습니다. 인터뷰 기사는 월간 조선 12월 후에 게재됩니다. 우리 교회는 11월 13일 둘째 주일부터 어린 자녀들과 교회에 나온 성도들, 또 새가족들을 위해 주일 주차장 운영 방식을 변경합니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 30일 이 같은 내용을 성도들에게 전하며 교회의 미래인 다음 세대가 더욱 부흥하도록 성도들의 협조를 당부했습니다. 특별히 상공사공 부모들을 위해서 교회 모든 들어오는 입구 유모차를 갖고 오기에 편하도록 다 고치도록 했고 주차 공간도 특별히 마련해서 주차고 바로 교회 예배당도 올수 있도록 조치를 취하라고 지시를 했습니다. 그래서 이 한시예배 상공사공 젊은 부모들이 많이 나와서 함께 예배드리고 우리 아이들이 이곳에서 자라서 우리 대한민국의 미래를 변화시킬 위대한 인물들이 많이 태어나기를 간절히 소원합니다 할렐루야 변경 운영안에 따라 새가족과 함께 온 차량은 대성전 지하 3층을 또 영유아 동반 3040 성도들 차량은 제2교육관 주차장을 이용하면 됩니다 우리 교회는 코로나가 한창이던 2020년 9월부터 모바일 간편 헌금 서비스를 제공하고 있는데요. 스마트폰을 통해 언제 어디서나 쉽게 헌금할 수 있는 서비스입니다. 간편 헌금 서비스는 유비페이와 국민은행 두 가지 방법으로 이용할 수 있습니다. 국민은행의 경우 PC와 모바일 앱, 모바일 웹에서 모두 헌금할 수 있습니다. 또 사용자 중심의 결제 플랫폼으로 한번 등록으로 안전하게 헌금할 수 있고 관리도 용이합니다. 교회학교는 9월 16일부터 10월 28일까지 7주 동안 학생들의 금요 철야 예배인 틴스파워 청소년 철야 예배 출석 챌린지 이벤트를 진행했습니다. 현장에는 매주 150명에서 200여 명 사이의 학생들과 교사, 학부모들이 모여 예배드리며 
하나님의 자녀답게 살아갈 것을 다짐했습니다. 교회학교는 7주간 한 번도 빠지지 않고 출석한 85명의 학생들을 시상했고 이중 5명을 추천해 특별상도 시상했습니다. 작년 대교구 비전 1교구 성도들은 지난 29일 송도 예수비전 순복음교회에서 단기 선교를 가졌습니다. 부모와 자녀 41명이 한 팀을 이뤘고 예수비전교회 창립 9주년 예배에서 찬양 인도와 특송에 함께했습니다. 또 송도 땅밟기를 가지며 각자가 밟는 모든 땅에 하나님의 나라가 임하도록 선포했습니다. 마포 1대교구와 관악대교구, 강서 2대교구, 용산대교구는 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함과 교구 부흥을 위해 힘써 기도했습니다. 금천대교구와 영등포대교구, 반석대교구는 3, 4, 5, 0 예배를 드리고 각 교구의 허리층이 더욱 견고해지도록 예배했습니다. 또 양천대교구는 남성 연합 예배를 갖고 남성 지구역 부흥을 위해 기도했습니다. 남대문 성전은 10월 27일부터 사흘간 상권 회복과 새생명 전도 축제를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회를 가졌고 30일에는 새생명 전도 축제를 가졌습니다. 전도 축제에는 30여 명의 태신자가 참석했습니다. 새성북 성전의 수요 어머니 기도회가 뜨겁습니다. 매 수요 예배 후 시작되는 기도회에는 200여 명의 어머니들이 참석해 자녀와 가족, 교회 부흥과 예배 회복, 다음 세대 부흥을 위해 기도하고 있습니다. 우리 교회의 530번째 개척교회인 선암마음교회가 29일 창립 예배를 드렸습니다. 이영호 목사는 영상을 통해 교회 창립을 축복했고 한상인 목사가 창립 예배에서 설교했습니다. 계속해서 단임 목사 취임과 공포가 있었고 공창남 개척위원장이 공로패와 개척지원금을 전했습니다. 서철원 목사는 온전한 헌신을 다짐했습니다. 국제구호개발 NGO 구피플은 지난 31일 기주비 캐피탈과 함께 러시아와 우크라이나의 전쟁을 피해 국내에 입국한 안산시 고려인 남빈 130가구에 1,300만 원 규모의 침구류와 생필품으로 구성된 사랑의 희망박스를 지원했습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에서는 꿈을 이루는 축복대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Hallelujah! 11월 성찬 예배 나오신 모든 성도님들을 주의 이름으로 환영하고 축복합니다. 우리의 살아계신 소망 대신 예수 그리스도 그 이름을 함께 찬양하겠습니다. 주님의 공로 
할렐루야 주님께 영광의 박수 올려드리겠습니다 주 심장아를 시심으로 죄인을 구속하셨으니 우주의 사랑, 우주의 사랑, 그 신은 해, 보혈의 능력 의지하세, 심판의 불이 내릴 때에, 주님의 진노 면하겠네. 찬송하고 찬송하세 주님 앞을 멀리 떠나 
오직은 오직 구주 예수님 
주님을 삼창하시고 함께 기도하시겠습니다 주여 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 사망만 생긴 특권을 원하시 살아계신 소망 되신 예수 그리스도 주님 오늘 날 찬양하며 나아갑니다 성령 예배가 임하여 주시옵소서 저희들에게 은혜와 응답을 더하여 주시옵소서 주님 오늘 날 주시옵소서 찬양하며 나아갑니다 이성찬의 동화에서 주님의 인생을 더욱더 마음속으로 깊이 생각해 주시옵소서 주님 저희들의 지친 영혼들이 회복되게 하여 주시옵소서 성령님 주장하여 주시옵소서 고혈의 능력을 나타나게 하여 주시옵소서 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 Praise the Lord my soul Let everything inside me Praise the Lord Give thanks to the Lord, my soul. Give thanks to the Lord, my soul. Let everything inside me give thanks to the Lord. Be joyful, my soul. Be joyful, my soul. Let everything inside me give thanks to the Lord. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Throughout the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the fools and the avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.
crazy more creatures here below. Crazy mobob yet heavily host. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Or hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate all. Bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. Sinners whose love can never forget the warm mood and the gall. Come lay your trophies at his feet and crown him Lord of all. Come lay your trophies at his feet and crown him Lord of all. Let every candidate, every tribe, on this terrestrial horn, to him all majesty ascribe, and crowns him Lord of all. To him all majesty ascribe, and crown him Lord of all. Of oh, that with yonder sacred throne we at his feet may fall. We will join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We will join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. Amen. Heavenly Father, our living hope and the shield of our life, 
And sometimes we have not followed the will of God, and we have followed the trend of the world. Heavenly Father, let us realize our sins before you, and we want to put down all our sins before the cross of Jesus. Heavenly Father, let us be humbly confessing all our sins, and let us be filled with the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to be humble before the Lord, and there are a lot of troubles because of wars and disease and poverty. Heavenly Father, drive all the sufferings out of our everyday life and stabilize our political situations and heavenly father give your wisdom to our political leaders so that uh, they can take care of every people <laughs> heavenly father and there are a lot of anti-christ uh, cultures and heavenly father let us always be uh, awake not to follow, the, not to be influenced by the trends of the world. Heavenly Father, bless all our churches and let our churches um, be the leader and give the power of the world to our pastors. And Heavenly Father, when our pastor delivers the message, open the door of heaven, and help us to be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, let us be filled with the grace of God. And Heavenly Father, all the problems we have uh, will disappear when we pray very hard before the Lord. And Heavenly Father, remember various um, volunteers, including quality members, servicemen and women. Bless all of them. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's scripture reading is found in Acts chapter 4, verse 29 to 31. It's Acts chapter 4, verse 29 to 31. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Amen. We welcome all of our foreign guests to your full gospel church. This is your interpreter bringing you simultaneous interpretation. So you may be able to join us in worship. For a while, you can take off your headphones and listen to the choir's music.
Thank you for the beautiful song. Let's share the reading together. Today is a very good day. And we will have the good news. This is the first week of November. And based on Acts chapter 4, verse 29 to 31, I will deliver the sermon under the title of the work of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Today's sermon title is the work of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The early churches had amazing growth because of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Peter and John healed the crippled man who was disabled from the birth. As the word of these traveled across Jerusalem and the church experienced a remarkable revival. When Peter preached, more than 5,000 male uh, returned to God to give their hearts to God. And many people were very touched to see the crippled man uh, walking. In Acts chapter 4, verse 4, but many who heard the message believed, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. And I think there were uh, more people uh, who believed in Jesus, including women and children. However, the religious and political figures of the day uh, put them in prison. At chapter 4, verse 3, it says they seized Peter and John, and because it was evening, they put them in jail until the next day. Um, first, the power who believes in Jesus and uh, the political and the religious leaders began to question Peter and John what power or what name they did this. Verse 7, it says, they had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them, by what power and what name did you do this? Then um, Peter and John answered, then uh, you know this, you and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, they, this man stands before you healed. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, It was by the name of Jesus uh, that the man healed. And the name of Jesus becomes the way of salvation and has the great power. And continuously, Peter said at Acts chapter 4, verse 11 and verse 12, He is the stone you builders rejected, he, which has become the capstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which you must be saved. So only Jesus becomes the name of the salvation. By the name of Jesus, we can be saved and we can be healed. And there are a lot of religions in the world. And uh, however, they don't have power to save. According to John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus becomes the life and truth and the way of salvation. When we believe in Jesus, we can be blessed in the name of Jesus and we can become the children of God. The priests and religious leaders were so surprised that uh, Peter and John could logically told what they did. So they had a meeting for how to treat them. At chapter 4, verse 17, it says, But to stop this thing from spreading any further among the people, we must warn this man to speak no longer to anyone in this name. They threatened Peter and John not to spread the name of Jesus. 
And verse 18 and 21, it says, Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. After further threats, they let them go. They could not decide how to punish them because all the people were praising God for what had happened. And the name of Jesus has great power. And every power is under the power of the Jesus. Therefore, we should be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to drive out the power of the dark. And we should realize that the power of great, power of Jesus becomes very great, and the power of death uh, is not influencing on us. And we will be blessed once we believe in Jesus, and the abundant blessing of God will come upon us when we believe in Jesus, who becomes the life and the truth and the way of salvation. So we need to be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to drive out the darkness, drive out disease, drive out the difficulties, and drive out the poverty. And finally, we will become the great victorious people of God. We should be blessed as we have the power of the name of Jesus. And then we should give the blessings for the others. And we should not be criticized uh, by the people in the world. And we have to use the name of Jesus to be against all the troubles. And let us be filled with the power of the name of Jesus. And I bless all the people here. Once we believe in Jesus, we will be filled with the power of the name of Jesus. And then we have the brave heart to spread the name of Jesus. And second, um, spreading the name of Jesus and the words of God. And verse 29 and 30 says, Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servants, Jesus. And after being freed, Peter and John boldly declared God's, declared God's favor, prayed for them to preach God's word with great boldness and pleaded with God to extend His hand to heal and work amazing signs and wonders through the name of Jesus. <laughs> Once we will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can deliver the name and the gospel of Jesus bravely. We cannot depend on other things but for Jesus, as Jesus becomes our only hope. So let us be brave to spread the gospel. And once we are filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we can be brave enough to spread the name of Jesus and to spread the words of God. Even furthermore, we can uh, practice the love of God. And after Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, the curses came to us. However, after being believed in Jesus, the power of sins and deaths uh, were no more powerful. According to Acts chapter 4, verse 33 and 35, with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and much grace was upon them all. 
there were no needy persons among them, for from time to time those who owned lands or houses sold them, brought the money from the sales, and put it at apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone as he had needed. And after being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit, uh, people started to taking care of each other by sharing their things with others who are in trouble. And so during the period, period of the early churches, um, there were no one who were in the poor situations. And Russia became a uh, communist nation after the revolution. For many years, Russia was under the communist uh, regime, and it became uh, under the great uh, troubles. But in 1991, and the Soviet Union was collapsed, and And in 1993, uh, I went to the uh, Soviet Union to build the church. At the moment, the average income of the Soviet Union people uh, were $20. And people had only two meals, very hot and a very hard bread. So people were in very hard conditions and they were starved. So the communism uh, was not a good way for uh, people to live well. And see many people uh, uh, which were under the communism uh, were not thriving. Going back to our original story, uh, we can find only hope in Jesus Christ. Um, during early Christian, uh, during the early Christian churches, um, the people were sharing what they had with others. But sadly, um, even many people are becoming richer uh, compared to the past. However, still we see many people under the trouble. Uh, our church has spent one-third of our budget to save and help others. And last year, uh, we spent 15 billion Korean won to serve others who are in trouble because of corona pandemic and so on. And God gave us a lot of blessings for us to share with others and helping others. And now the church uh, is getting uh, restored, I think, and 90% of Christians come to uh, church. And so our church um, has to decide to serve uh, more people and help many people as possible as possible. And we should look around and we should take care of our, uh, we should, We should take care of other people who are sick and who are in poor conditions, who are underprivileged. As children of God, we need to share the love of Jesus with others. And we should spread the blessings of God for helping others. And grace becomes greater when we, shares with, when we share with others. The water should flow. Likewise, The love of Jesus uh, should flow. 
And I hope everybody will be filled with the grace of God uh, to uh, help others. And third, the growth of church. And church grows is the outcome of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 4, verse 31, it says, After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God. And verse 7, it says, So the word of God spread, the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and the large number of priests became obedient to the faith. <laughs> Therefore, a church will be grow. A church will grow after many Christians will be uh, filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. As the servants of God, uh, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit to uh, have changes in and out of our uh, life. When the early Christian elected the seven deacons of the early church, people chose those who were filled with the Holy Spirit and were praised by others. Verse 3, it says, Brothers, choose seven men among who you are known to be full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility of, over to them. So uh, the church staffs and uh, the church-related people should be full of the Holy Spirit and uh, be filled with the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Likewise, we need to look back on our lives whether we are filled with the Holy Spirit or not. Anyway, one of those people uh, who were elected as the church uh, deacons during the early, early church, uh, Stephen was chosen, who was full of the Holy Spirit and power, brought about the miracles and wonders of God. And he had uh, shown various miracles of God. And once people heard the uh, sermon of the Stephen, many people were touched. And according to Acts chapter 6, verse 10, it says, But they could not stand up against his wisdom or the spirit by whom he spoke. And the message is Stephen were touching many hearts of people and healing the sick. And I hope every one of you will experience that power of the Holy Spirit. And through you, I hope many people will be influenced positively. And I hope through you, our nation will change. And we should become uh, the res we should become the people um, who can bring changes, and we need to pray hard. And we should spread the gospel uh, to many people, and we should pray for uh, many young people uh, to know Jesus. And even Stephen uh, saw the vision of God. According to Acts chapter 7, verse 55 and verse 56, but Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up the heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And at that moment, uh, people felt guilty, and they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, and they even stoned against him. And Stephen became the first martyr. At this, they covered their ears and yelled at the top of their voices, and they rushed at him, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, uh, the witness laid their clothes at the feet of the young man named Saul. And the gospel was spread out of the Jerusalem as a result of Stephen's martyrdom. We should be filled with the spirit of the martyr uh, to become the witness of gospel. According to Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will become the my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. The word witness is 
refer to a uh, martyr in Greek, and the power of the Holy Spirit is pronounced in uh, as dunamis in Greek. It has great power like dynamite. So once we filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit, uh, we can become the great and bold witness of Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, and st dear brothers and sisters, if we become the children of God after believing in God, then we should be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and then we have to spread the name of Jesus and the gospel for many people to be saved in the name of Jesus. And I hope many people uh, will come to Jesus again and I dream of the revival of our church uh, being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And you need to bring your friends and you need to bring your uh, family members to the church. And one of the disciples of uh, Apostle John was Polycarp. And the early church was hated by the society and government of the Roman Empire for various reasons, such as refusal of Christians to sacrifice to the gods. And anyway, um, uh, the Roman soldiers um, wanted to arrest Polycarp. And when the soldiers to arrest him, a Polycarp asked for an hour to pray uninterrupted. And uh, the soldiers uh, agreed. And Polycarp stood and prayed so full of the grace of God. And he could not stop praying for two hours. As Polycarp was being taken into the arena, and a voice came to him from heaven, be strong, be strong Polycarp and play the man. And no one saw who, no, no one saw who had spoken but other brothers who were there heard the voice. And the uh, proconsul asked him to deny and refuse Jesus. And Polycarp is recorded as saying, on the day of his death, 80 and 6 years, I have served him, and he here, God has done me uh, no wrong. And Polycarp goes on to say, how then, I can, how then can I blaspheme my king and savior? And uh, Polycarp didn't deny and refuse to believe in Jesus and more threatens came to him. And he said again, you threatened me with fire, with burns for an hour, and he then extinguished it. And uh, even uh, the proconsul threatened him uh, with saying uh, he would be put into the mouth of the lions. Anyway, uh, there were a lot of amphitheater in Roman uh, cities, and there were gladiators fightings, and uh, there were sometimes tragic uh, events uh, to persecute, uh, persecute many Christians. Anyway, the proconsul uh, threatened Polycarp again and again, and he said like this, you, you threatened me with fire with burns for an hour and is then extinguish it, but you know nothing of the fire of the coming judgment and eternal punishment reserved for the ungodly. Why are you waiting? Bring on whatever you want. And ready to be an unacceptable burnt offering, he looked up to heaven and said, O oh Lord, 
God Almighty, the Father of your beloved and blessed Son, Jesus Christ, by whom we receive the knowledge of you, the God of angels, powers in every creature, and all righteous who live before you, I give you thanks that you count me worthy to, um, num to be the numbered among your m a r t i r e s sharing the cup of Christ and the resurrection to eternal life, both of soul and body, through the immortality of the Holy Spirit. And after his prayer, the fire shaped itself into the form of an arch, like the seal of a sheep when filled with the wind, and formed a circle around the body of the martyr. Inside it, he looked not like flesh that is burnt, but like bread that is baked, or gold, or silver glowing in furnace. And uh, there was a sweet smell, a scent like frankincense, or such precious uh, fragrance. Eventually, uh, when those wicked men saw that his body could not be consumed by the fire, they commanded an executioner to pierce him with a dagger. Uh, the Christianity has been achieved by many uh, precious deaths, martyrdoms of faithful people of God. Many Christians have been sacrificed to keep the faith in the Lord, And we should be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to become the bold and courageous witness of Jesus Christ. And I hope everyone will be used greatly to become the servant of God. We need to confess our sin and we have to be partake the Holy Communion. And just like Perlikop, who was sacrificed to keep his faith in the Lord, and we should have that courage. Are you able, said the Master, to be crucified with me? Yet the sturdy dreamers answered, To the dust we follow thee. Lord, make us able, our spirit are thine. Remove them, make us like the divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall be. A become to God to love and loyalty. Amen. Like this song, uh, we have to serve the Lord with our love and loyalty. I bless all the people here. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and grace. And help us to be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit so that we are devoted to spreading the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel of God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And close your eyes. This time, uh, we call the newcomers, and our life is quickly. Uh, our life quickly disappears like the fog, and our life is once and temporary. We need to return to Jesus. If you want to become the children of God, and if you want to believe in Jesus as your personal Savior, stand up from your place, wherever you are. Uh, stand up, please. In Your confession uh, will change your life. And lay your hand on your chest and receive in Jesus, and your life will be different, and you will be blessed.
And if you want to believe in Jesus and then follow my prayer, and your faithful confession will lead you to the salvation of God. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I don't know where I came from. I don't know why I leave. I don't know where to go. I've been wandering the world. You died for my sins. And you rose again for me. And I believe in you as my personal Savior. From now, from now on, I, I'm children of God. And I will live with you. I believe in you as my personal Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome all of you. And today is the Holy Communion Sunday, and we will partake the Holy Communion. And we should repent all our sins before the Holy Communion and repent all our sins thoroughly by calling Jesus' name three times, and we need to pray individually for a while. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for I received from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until it comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord eats and drinks judgment of himself. Heavenly Father, today we partake the Holy Communion. This is the symbolic process, uh, process and we want to remember the great greatest love and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Uh, before that, we want to uh, repent all our sins sincerely and humbly before the Lord, and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And before partaking the Holy Communion, we should repent all our sins. Um, we still have to wear the mask inside, so uh, you will be given the uh, Holy Communion package in the little box. You can bring this little box to your home, and after pray, uh, you can uh, partake the Holy Communion.
통해서 다시 한번 기도하겠습니다. 주여, 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 사랑과 은혜를 원하시는 하나님 아버지, 하나님 우리가 죄배 은혜를 받고 또 하나님의 놀라운 축복 받았음에도 하나님의 충성을 잘 되면 더 용서하여 주옵소서. 하나님 우리의 삶과 우리의 모든 노력과 정성을 잡혀 헌신으로 헌신하여 바쳐서 하나님 복음의 증인된 사명을 감당케 하여 주옵소서. 우리 주 받은 은혜가 너무나 많고 많은데 주님여 받은 은혜를 그저 혼자만 가지고 가지고 있던 걸 주님 용서하여 주시. 가난하고 소외되고 병들고 불쌍하고 문제는 사람들에게 일상을 전하며 힘써 주의 복을 전하며 하나님의 영광을 드는 죄 못해 뚫어 내려 주옵소서. 오 주님만 의자 주님만 바라봅니다. 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령. 주의 성령이여 주의 성령이여 주의 성령 임하셨소. 주의 성령이여 주의 성령 임하셨소. 오 할렐루야 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 할렐루야. 주여 역사에 주관하여 주옵소서 함께 은혜를 깨어드려 바라옵고 합니다 아버지 함께 은혜를 여서 주여에서 주의 기뻐하시는 삶을 할수 있는 주를 먼저 들어내려 주옵소서 아렐루야 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 주님 감사합니다 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 성찬 세트를 들고 기도하겠습니다 하나님 아버지 우리가 Heavenly Father We pray all together. After uh, worshiping, we uh, will go back home. And when we partake the Holy Communion at home, let us be filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And Heavenly Father, help us to be strong to become the brave witness of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus. This time, lay your hand on your chest. We pray for healing. Go away all the disease right now. Get out of our body. In the name of Jesus, I command, go away. Every uh, mental-related disease, go away right now. Go away, nose disease. Go away, neck pain, shoulder pain, and back pain, and knee pains. Go away, heartache. Go away, high blood pressure. Go away, diabetes. Go away, malicious cancers and tumors. Go away, skin troubles. Go away, infertilities. And go away, all the life-related troubles. Be blessed and be successful in your workplace, and you will receive the answers. And Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you, and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The person with uh, stomach ache and uh, will be healed. And the person with neck pains will be healed. The person with insomnia and mental disease will be healed. And recently, this person uh, has the uh, bad eyesight and will be healed. And the person with, with uh, back pain will be healed. And God gives us the great health. God becomes our doctor and healer. And God becomes our uh, healer. And let's say together, I will be filled with the Holy Spirit to become the witness of Jesus. Hallelujah. This time we will uh, pray for the offering. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and grace. And this is great Sunday, and we are partake the Holy Communion, uh, thinking deeply about the blood of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we are here to worship the Lord, giving our hearts and giving our times, giving our thoughts and giving our sincere hearts. Heavenly Father, and now we are partake. Now we are offering various offering as the small token of our gratitude. Heavenly Father, let us be prepared in us in advance. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
내일부터 두 주간 우리가 특별 수요일. Uh, we will have early morning service from uh, Monday to Saturday. And before the Thanksgiving week, we will be prepared by praying hard at early morning every day. Please come a lot 5 o'clock in the morning from Monday and Saturday is start 6 o'clock. And let us be praying hard before the Lord to be strong spiritually and to give blessings a lot from the Lord. And we should give thanks to count all the blessings that God has given us. And it will be also the preparation for the next year. And I pray for you, Heavenly Father. And we prepared various offerings with our hearts and with our loyalty. And there are Sunday offerings, there are tithe, and there are mission offerings, and there are various offerings. Heavenly Father, bless all the offering hands. And Heavenly Father, let us be more dedicated to enlarging the kingdom of God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we chart in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of God, and the indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and all of your family members abundantly. Amen. God is good. 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 And my Lord is good. And my Lord is good. As your interpreter, it has been a great pleasure to help you with Sunday service. May God be with you and bless you.
여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 첫째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사 피해자 유가족들을 지원하기 위해 위로금 10억 원을 전하기로 했습니다. 첫 소식 김선태 리포터가 전해드립니다. 지난 주말 발생한 이태원 인명사고는 전 국민에게 큰 충격과 안타까움을 전했는데요. 사고 발생 다음 날인 30일 이영훈 목사는 주일 예배 설교에 앞서 참사 피해자들과 가족들에게 위로의 말을 전했습니다. 어젯밤 이태원에서 할로윈 데이 축제로 모였던 청년들이 밀려서 넘어지면서 오늘 아직까지 149명이 사망한 것이 확인됐습니다. 유가족들에게 깊은 위로의 말씀을 전하고 또 지금 병원에 있는 많은 청년들이 빨리 건강이 회복돼서 가족 품으로 돌아가게 되기를 바랍니다. 이번 사고로 156명의 사망자 등 300여 명의 사상자가 발생했는데요. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사로 절망에 빠진 피해자 가족들을 지원하기 위해 10억 원의 위로금을 전달하기로 했습니다. 우리 교회의 사랑의 섬김은 각종 통신사와 언론을 통해서도 집중 조명됐고 또 한국교회의 위로사역의 도화선이 됐습니다. 지면을 통해 입장을 전한 이영훈 목사는 우리는 성경의 말씀처럼 슬퍼하는 자들과 함께 울며 고통 중에 있는 분들을 위로하고자 우리 사명을 다할 것이라며 한국교회가 이 일에 함께 나서주길 바란다고 전했습니다. 우는 자와 함께 울어주는 것이 우리 그리스도인들의 사랑의 삶의 모습이어야 되지 않겠습니까? 우리가 하나님 이곳에 있지만 우리 하나님 앞에 기도할 때 하나님께서 그들의 마음을 어루만져 주시옵소서. 또 2일 수요 예배에선 참사로 어려움을 겪고 있는 유족과 부상자들의 회복과 치유를 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 우는 자들과 함께 울라는 예수님의 말씀에 따라 국가와 사회의 아픔에 함께하며 우리 사회의 아픔이 조속히 치유되고 회복되길 한마음 되어 기도합니다. FGTV 뉴스 김석태입니다. 우리 교회 부흥과 발전을 논의하기 위한 제2차 중직자 워크숍이 지난 29일 이영우 목사를 강사로 있었습니다. 계속해서 김선태 리포터입니다. 이날 모임은 지난 9월 열렸던 1차 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회 주요 과제들을 점검하고 또 풀어가기 위한 시간이었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 우리 교회가 부흥의 물결에 오르기 위해 무엇보다 기본에 충실해야 할 것을 언급하며 리더들이 먼저 기도의 회복에 앞장서야 할 것을 강조했습니다. 우리 모두가 그러한 부흥의 물결을 타야 되는데 제일 시급한 것이 기도의 회복입니다. 기도의 회복. 여러, 여러 막론하고 리더들이 기도하지 않으면 교회에 여러 가지 문제 어려움을 해결할 방법이 없습니다. 우리들이 먼저 무릎을 꿇어야 됩니다. 우리들이 먼저 하나님 기도해야 됩니다. 덧붙여 창세기부터 계시록까지 말씀 교육 강화의 중요성을 말했고 전도운동 회복의 필요성을 도전하며 원초적이고 원색적인 성령운동과 방언기도의 회복을 당부했습니다. 앞으로 우리 교회 기본 사역이 우리 순봉교회가 따르게 부흥하게 아니라 우리 조영기 목사님께서 늘 제가 귀모시 받게 들어 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 전성도 성형 받고 방안하는 운동. 전성도. 지금 부흥하는 교회는 장로교회, 감리교회는 다 방안해요. 다 방안해. 또 과거 경험과 서열만 고집하는 꼰대 정신이 교회 안에 있어서는 안 된다며 교회 안에 유모차와 휠체어가 편안하게 다닐 수 있도록 젊은 세대와 약자에게 배려하는 생각의 전환이 필요하다고 말했습니다. 생각의 전환. 이제 우리가. 눈높이를 20대, 30대에 맞춰갖고 낮아져서 섬기는 자세로 가야 돼 여러분들 교회를 좀 바꾸셔야 돼 여러분들이 앞장서 컨디션을 하셔야 돼요. 계속해서 이영훈 목사는 앞선 오크숍에서 제기됐던 교회학교 지역분교 운영안과 교회 내 결혼 지원 방안 등을 논의했고 우리 교회 모바일 앱을 활용한 매일 아침 메시지 전송과 청년 일자리 박람회 등에 대한 연구를 제안했습니다. 워크숍에 이어 김영석 성해 부본부장이 제26차 세계 우순절 대회에 대한 결과 보고를 가졌고 참석자들은 우리 교회의 부흥과 사역을 위해 합심하여 기도했습니다. 우리 교회가 강한 부흥의 물결에 올라 전 세계에 하나님 나라를 확장하는 거룩한 사명을 잘 감당해 가기를 기대해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 
순복음 실업인 선교연합회 사회사업 미용 선교회는 28일 개인적인 사정으로 결혼식을 올리지 못한 여섯 쌍의 부부에게 가을날의 아름다운 추억을 선사했습니다. 이찬미 리포터가 전합니다. 결혼 행진곡과 함께 오늘의 주인공들인 신랑 신부가 입장합니다. 이날 결혼식을 올린 부부는 여섯 쌍으로 농어촌 거주자와 다문화 가정, 탈북민 등 피치 못할 사정으로 식을 올리지 못한 이들입니다. 결혼식을 위해 사회사업 미용 선교회 회원들은 신랑 신부 메이크업은 물론 턱시도와 드레스 대여까지 무료로 제공했고 순복음 실업인 선교연합회 홍보본부는 신랑 신부의 소중한 추억을 담은 웨딩 촬영을 지원했습니다. 사회사업 미용 선교회 송구명 회장의 사회로 진행된 예식에서 주례를 맡은 이영훈 목사는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치길 기원했고 또 서로에 대한 배려와 섬김을 당부했습니다. 오늘 여섯 가정 하나님께서 큰 복을 주길 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 지금까지 힘들고 어려운 인생을 살아왔지만 이제부터는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치나고 행복하고 기쁘고 장수하고 의미 있고 보람되고 행복한 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. 신랑 신부들은 이영훈 목사의 성혼 선포에 따라 머리를 맞대고 혼인 서약에 큰 소리로 답했습니다. 함께 생활한 지 40년 만에 또 39년 만에 식을 올린 부부들은 너무 감사하다고 입을 모았습니다. 오랜 기간 미룰 수밖에 없었던 숙제를 마친 여섯 쌍의 신랑 신부들. 미래를 향한 발걸음이 더할 나위 없이 경쾌해 보입니다. FGTV 뉴스 이참입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 이영우 목사는 지난 30일 주일 예배에 참석한 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들과 환담을 나눴습니다. 이 자리에는 국제사역 담당 길버트 곤잘레스 위원 등이 함께했습니다. 이영우 목사는 우리 교회와 국제구호개발 NGO 구피블이 함께하는 사업들을 소개했고 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들은 이들 사업에 대한 미국의 협력과 한미동맹 강화를 강조했습니다. 이영호 목사는 지난 28일 유력 시사 잡지인 월간 조선과 인터뷰를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 이영호 목사는 코로나 이후 한국 교회의 회복과 부흥, 또 섬김과 나눔 사역 등 다양한 주제로 대화했습니다. 또 코로나로 촉발된 젊은 세대의 미래에 대한 불안함 증가에 대해 한국 교회가 위기를 기회로 바꿔 나가는 지혜가 필요한 시점이라고 진단했습니다. 인터뷰 기사는 월간 조선 12월 후에 게재됩니다. 우리 교회는 11월 13일 둘째 주일부터 어린 자녀들과 교회에 나온 성도들, 또 새가족들을 위해 주일 주차장 운영 방식을 변경합니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 30일 이 같은 내용을 성도들에게 전하며 교회의 미래인 다음 세대가 더욱 부흥하도록 성도들의 협조를 당부했습니다. 특별히 상공사공 부모들을 위해서 교회 모든 들어오는 입구 유모차를 갖고 오기에 편하도록 다 고치도록 했고 주차 공간도 특별히 마련해서 주차가 바로 교회 예배당도 올수 있도록 조치를 취하라고 지시를 했습니다. 그래서 이 한시예배 상공사공 젊은 부모들이 많이 나와서 함께 예배드리고 우리 아이들이 이곳에서 자라서 우리 대한민국의 미래를 변화시킬 위대한 인물들이 많이 태어나기를 간절히 소원합니다 할렐루야 변경 운영안에 따라 새가족과 함께 온 차량은 대성전 지하 3층을 또 영유아 동반 3040 성도들 차량은 제2교육관 주차장을 이용하면 됩니다 우리 교회는 코로나가 한창이던 2020년 9월부터 모바일 간편 헌금 서비스를 제공하고 있는데요. 스마트폰을 통해 언제 어디서나 쉽게 헌금할 수 있는 서비스입니다. 간편 헌금 서비스는 유비페이와 국민은행 두 가지 방법으로 이용할 수 있습니다. 국민은행의 경우 PC와 모바일 앱, 모바일 웹에서 모두 헌금할 수 있습니다. 또 사용자 중심의 결제 플랫폼으로 한번 등록으로 안전하게 헌금할 수 있고 관리도 용이합니다. 교회학교는 9월 16일부터 10월 28일까지 7주 동안 학생들의 금요 철야 예배인 틴스파워 청소년 철야 예배 출석 챌린지 이벤트를 진행했습니다. 현장에는 매주 150명에서 200여 명 사이의 학생들과 교사, 학부모들이 모여 예배드리며 
하나님의 자녀답게 살아갈 것을 다짐했습니다. 교회학교는 7주간 한 번도 빠지지 않고 출석한 85명의 학생들을 시상했고 이중 5명을 추천해 특별상도 시상했습니다. 작년 대교구 비전 1교구 성도들은 지난 29일 송도 예수비전 순복음교회에서 단기 선교를 가졌습니다. 부모와 자녀 41명이 한 팀을 이뤘고 예수비전교회 창립 9주년 예배에서 찬양 인도와 특송에 함께했습니다. 또 송도 땅밟기를 가지며 각자가 밟는 모든 땅에 하나님의 나라가 임하도록 선포했습니다. 마포 1대교구와 관악대교구, 강서 2대교구, 용산대교구는 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함과 교구 부흥을 위해 힘써 기도했습니다. 금천대교구와 영등포대교구, 반석대교구는 3, 4, 5, 0 예배를 드리고 각 교구의 허리층이 더욱 견고해지도록 예배했습니다. 또 양천대교구는 남성 연합 예배를 갖고 남성 지구역 부흥을 위해 기도했습니다. 남대문 성전은 10월 27일부터 사흘간 상권 회복과 새 생명 전도 축제를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회를 가졌고 30일에는 새 생명 전도 축제를 가졌습니다. 전도 축제에는 30여 명의 태신자가 참석했습니다. 새성북 성전의 수요 어머니 기도회가 뜨겁습니다. 매 수요 예배 후 시작되는 기도회에는 200여 명의 어머니들이 참석해 자녀와 가족, 교회 부흥과 예배 회복, 다음 세대 부흥을 위해 기도하고 있습니다. 우리 교회의 530번째 개척교회인 서남마음교회가 29일 창립 예배를 드렸습니다. 이영우 목사는 영상을 통해 교회 창립을 축복했고 한상인 목사가 창립 예배에서 설교했습니다. 계속해서 단임 목사 취임과 공포가 있었고 공창남 개척위원장이 공로패와 개척 지원금을 전했습니다. 서철원 목사는 온전한 헌신을 다짐했습니다. 국제구호개발 NGO 구피플은 지난 31일 디주비 캐피탈과 함께 러시아와 우크라이나의 전쟁을 피해 국내에 입국한 안산시 고려인 남빈 130가구에 1,300만 원 규모의 침구류와 생필품으로 구성된 사랑의 희망박스를 지원했습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에서는 꿈을 이루는 축복대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Hallelujah! 주일 이부 성찬 예배 오신 모든 성도님들을 진심으로 환영하고 축복합니다. 우리 예수님만이 우리의 산 소망이 되십니다. 예수님만이 우리에게 승리를 주십니다. 이 시간도 우리 예수님만 높여 드리기를 원합니다. 먼저 찬양으로 나아가겠습니다. 절망에 수렁 가운데 주님께 닿을 수 없던 우리 어두운 밤중에 하늘을 향해 
영광의 박수 올려드리겠습니다 주 십자가를 지심으로 죄인을 구속하셨으니 그 길을 보고 믿는 자는 주님의 진노 면하겠네 그대와 그신 사랑 찬송함 찬송하세 인도보다도 인도보다도 주의 의심 보여로 이게 씻어 주옵소서 아버지를 멀리 떠나 
약한 나로 가게 약한 나 주님의 보혈로 우리에게 승리 주신 예수님 부활 주신 예수님께 성령 충만 달라고 주님의 이름 세번 부르며 기도하겠습니다 주여 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 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. O bless His holy name. Give thanks, O my soul. Give thanks, O my soul. And all that is within me. Give thanks, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. And all that is within me. Rejoice, O my soul. Good morning to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service. We invite you to prepare your heart for the service by taking a few minutes to pray with us now. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? human beings, that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with the glory and honor. Amen. Let us sing our opening hymn found on page 1. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye, heaven, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Now we will recite the Opposites Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. And, Je and in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord, who was con conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy U Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
You may be seated. Please turn in your hymn book to page 36. Page 36. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem. And crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem. And crown him Lord of all. Sinners whose love can never forget. The wormwood and the gal. Go spread your trophies at his feet. And crown him Lord of all. Go spread your trophies at his feet. And crown him Lord of all. Let every kindred, every tribe on this ter ter terrestrial, terrestrial ball to him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. To him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. Oh, that with the yonder sacred throne we at his feet may fall, we will join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We will join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. Amen. Now our elder Im Ik Ju will pray for this service. Dear Heavenly Father, people who give thanks to God, we glorify the name of God. I will show you the salvation of God. Dear Heavenly Father, in this season of harvest, thank you for calling each one of us to your house and let us worship you in spirit and truth. Oh, Father, we lived a shameful life. We lived in the midst of the sin. We make a confession today. Lord, forgive us all our sins today. Today is the Holy Communion Sunday. We will remember your body and your blood. Dear Holy Spirit, be with us today and pour your grace upon us today through this worship service. Dear Father God, at this time, because of ideology of a communist, there's a warfare in Ukraine, Father. Give them peace, Lord, as soon as possible. Father God, we pray for our people and our nation, Father. Have a mercy on our people and save us from diseases, endemic disease, and yeah, warfare, Father. Pour your wisdom upon our the leader of this country, Father. Let it be let your will be done through this country, Father. Oh, Father God, let's especially remember our people who became victims through through unexpected accident, Father, and help us to not to happen again in this country, Father. Oh, Father God, be with the next generation. Let us have a right ethics and save us from heresies and homosexuality in this nation, Father. More than, more than anything, and be with our children, Father, and help us to lead them to the bosom of the Lord today, Father. Our oh, Father God, we will have Korean SAT in this month, Father, and, and pour your good health upon our students who will take this examination, Father. Our oh, Father God, thank you for building our Yoida Full Gospel Church through the faith of a full gospel, Father, 
and use us as your instrument to preach the gospel, Father, and be with each of our souls today. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit today. Let us worship you with a great joy. Be with our senior pastor, Young Lee. Bless him, Father. Over Korean, uh, over Full Gospel Church, let him be the right leader of Christianity in this nation, Father. Our oh, Father God, when you proclaim your gospel today, and comfort our hearts today and give us hope and dreams and vision and love as we listen to the message and set us free from all depressions today and be with our seat, our choir and our anthem today and be with the helping hands from men's and women's department today and bless each one of them, Lord. Dear Father God, call more of your people to your house, recover our church members, make sure let them attend, all of them attend our church. And pour your same grace upon people who are having this service through the satellite broadcasting. We want your name glorified through this service, your name only. Let your glory flow through this nation and through our church today. Control the whole service, Holy Trinity, in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. You are now worshiping in the second service today. We welcome you to the Yodo Full Gospel Church, and we pray that today's message and the choir will be blessing to you. This is Isaac bringing you a simultaneous translation of this service, so you may enjoy worshiping with us. God bless you today. The scripture reading today is found in the New Testament, Acts chapter 4, verse 29 through 31. Acts chapter 4, verse 29 through 31. Let's read together. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with a great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. After they prayed, the place they were, where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Amen. You may now take off your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir.
Thank you for the precious anthem. Let's greet each other. Today is really a good day. Good things will happen to each one of us today. Gangdong, Gyeongin, Gwangmyeong, Gumo, and 650 prayer houses in the prayer places, the CTS, the CBS, Good TV, C Channel, CGN, CBS Radio, FEBC, OTT, and other church members and people all, all over the world in having this service together. We bless you in the name of the Lord. This morning, I would like to share a message under the title, The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. Please repeat after me loudly, the work of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The work of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The secret to live a victorious life, that is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The church was born of the Holy Spirit, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The early church revived amazingly through the work of the being filled with the Holy Spirit. The work of the church revival is firstly and secondly must be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Peter and John, who were filled with the Holy Spirit, healed a man and had a crippled and, and crippled since birth in the name of Jesus during the ninth hour of prayer. And as the news spread throughout Jerusalem, and great revival took place in the church, and healed the person, crippled person since birth. After Peter raised the crippled man in the name of Jesus, when boldly preached the gospel to the people, more than 5,000 male adults turned to the Lord. Acts chapter 4 and 4 says, But many who heard the message believed, so the number of a man who believed grew about 5,000. About 5,000 men, about 20,000 people, including women and children, turned to the Lord. The, uh, the, the priests and sed seducees who were religious leaders at the time were startled and arrested Peter and John. Acts chapter 4 and 3 says, and they seized Peter and John and because it was evening and they put them in jail until the next day. Point number one, the authority that believers have. The Bible is telling about the high priest and leaders that took Peter and John out of the prison and put them in, the, in front of them asking a question. Acts chapter 4 and 7, they had Peter and John brought about them and began to question them, by what power or what name did you do this? And Peter filled the fullness of the Holy Spirit and answered, Acts chapter 4 and 10 says, Then know this, you and all people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from dead, and this man stand before you healed. In the name of Jesus, he became healed and standing before you. Hallelujah. Peter continued proclaiming boldly, Acts chapter 4 11 says, uh, Jesus is the stone your builders rejected, the which has been the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no, no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. For there is no other name under heaven given by mankind. Only Jesus Christ, Jesus is the only way to our salvation, our way and the truth. Many religious religions offer a way to salvation, but it's all in vain. Only Jesus is the only way to our salvation. Jesus is telling us, John chapter 14, 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That is right. Only Jesus is our way, our truth. Jesus is our true life. When we believe in Jesus, we, we can go to the right way. We can understand the truth. We can gain a whole new life, eternal life. 
maybe some religions in the world can comfort temporarily, but they cannot give us true satisfaction, cannot give us eternal life. Only Jesus can only bring us the true satisfaction and eternal life. The high priest and religious leaders were surprised to see Peter and John, who they had despised and ignored, speak boldly and logically. And they would have thought Peter and John were ignorant people and who didn't know anything. They were surprised. And Peter and John let Peter and John go out in a while and they discussed the countermeasures. Chap John Acts chapter 4 17. But to stop this thing from spreading any further among the people, we must warn them to speak no longer to anyone in this time. Acts chapter 4 18 says, Then they called them again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all the name of Jesus. After further threats, they let them go, and they could not decide how to punish them, and because all the people were praising God for what had happened. As such, there is authority in the name of Jesus, whom we believe in. He is our way of the salvation and our truth and the life. All power in the world bow their needs before the name of Jesus. Philippians 2 and 9 says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and the earth and under the earth. We have the great power of this name of Jesus. The power of sin and death bow their needs before Jesus. You must drive them out. Your diseases go away in the name of Jesus. Poverty go away. When you defeat them in the name of Jesus, grace will be with us. Miracle and blessing and healing and forgiveness and recovery will come to us. Great revival will come to us. You can defeat them in the name of Jesus and live a victorious life every day. I bless you in the name of the Lord. When the Holy Spirit comes, we can have the power of Jesus Christ. When Holy Spirit comes, we can boldly proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. We can practice love of Jesus Christ. The, the apostles were released and, and returned and testified of God's grace. Acts chapter 4, 29 says, Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with a great boldness. Stretch out your hands and heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of you, your holy servant Jesus. They, 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 they help us to speak the word of both God uh, boldly. Let us reach out our hands and heal the sick. Many that made the signs and wonders be done in the name of Jesus. When they filled with the Holy Spirit and proclaimed the word of God, a wonderful work of the revival took place. The saints received the grace and all of them began to share in grace and they received with their neighbors. God gave God the bless you to share with one another. They were and they showed the love to their poor and marginalized neighbors. There's no no poor people. They they served one another. When you see the Bible, there's no poor people. Acts chapter 433 says, With the great power and apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there was no needy persons among them. From time to time, those who owned the land, houses, sold them and brought money from the sales and put it, and put it at apostles', apostles feet, and it was distributed to the people. There's no poor people. They shared with one another. When we compare to early church and today's church, what, do, what, what we don't have, the sharing of love. These days, the spirit of a sharing has disappeared. Many people are still suffering from poverty. There, there was no poor people in the early church, but we do have a poor people still. We did not complete our mission. We must do our best and share with one another. We must serve one another. That's our assignment. God blessed us. Our church spent one-third of its budget on relief work. 
We spend approximately $30 million annually. We must share with one another. We should share more. We must look for people who are needy and suffer, people suffer from diseases. We must help them and then God will greatly bless us. When you see the history, Russia was so rich. There was a rich churches in Russia, but they did not share with one another at that time. There was a problem between white color and blue color workers, and Karl Marx, the bird communism, capitalism. Hey, let's just share with one another. Let's share with all together so we can live all well. That is a communism. And back in 1917, Marxism arose in the society. This communist theory in a shaman way. Russia was in trouble as a whole country became communist with the Bolshevik revolution. Finally, the, whole, the communists, communism had drive all people into the poor condition. When communism in the Soviet Union fell in 1991, I have been visiting them since 1993 to establish a seminary in Russia. We preached the gospel there through the seminary. At that time, the monthly income per person was $20. We, 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 as we were $200, $2,000, the situation was bad. Some people ate one bread and one soup a day. They skipped lunch. They eat hard bread in the morning. That's the all meal they eat, that eat in a day. Common Marxism is a bad theory. Communism is all ruined. It's all gone. When we share with one another, God will surely bless us. We must serve one another more than before. We must look for people who are needy. We must serve them and practice the love of God. For the for bring great greater revival, God bless us. That means God wants you to share with one another. If you share more, God will bless you more. As long as you keep it by yourself, you cannot share with one another. We will no longer be blessed. We must share with one another. Greater uh, grace increases as it is shared. Therefore, we lived a blessed life. Last three years, we were suffering from COVID-19. We must look for people who need the help, we must share with one another and practice the love of Jesus Christ. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Then our church will be revived. Point number three, the work of the church revival. Acts chapter 431 says, after they prayed, the place they were, were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Spirit and spoke the word of, a bold, a word of God boldly. Six and seven says, the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and the large number of the priests became obedient to the faith. There was a great revival. All the priests, they obeyed the word of God. They repented their sin and 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 believed in Jesus and came to church. We will revive if God is with us. God's workers must be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you share with one another, God will call more people to the church. They will be saved. They will live a blessed life. Therefore, we must be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We must receive the power and practice the love of God and become precious children of God. Lord, let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us become people of the Holy Spirit. Let's do the great work. Do your great work through our life. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I bless you in the name of the Lord. When we appoint a servant of God in the church, they were all filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 6 and uh, 6 says, Brothers and sisters, choose the seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them. And they made the servant of God, a servant. 
That is the people, deacons and deaconesses, elders, they carry all the problems of the church and they resolve the problem. Who became deacon and deaconesses? They were people who were fully full of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the word, and were praised by people. And they were armed with tenderness and they used as a servant of God. Stephen, one of the seven deacons of the early church, was filled with the Holy Spirit and power and performed the great wonders and miracles. He glorified the name of God. Acts chapter 6 and 8 says, Now Stephen, the man, the full of God, the great power, performed the great wonders and signs among the people. When he was possessed by the Holy Spirit and preached the gospel, the people could not face him. Acts chapter 6 and 10 says, But they could not stand up against the wisdom and Spirit gave him as he spoke. And he filled with the Holy Spirit. He saw heaven open. Acts chapter 7 55 says, But Stephen, the full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus is standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and see Son of a Man standing at the right hand of God. People felt remorse in their consciences and covered their ears and ran through the stone at him and killing him. Acts chapter, he became a first martyr in the church of history. Acts chapter 757, at this day, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of the voices, their voices and rushed at him and dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. He, he boldly preached the gospel and touched many people's heart. And they tried to cover their ears and try to stone and kill him. Arm yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare the word boldly. Be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. You will see the wonders and signs. When ordinary deaconess did a great job, we can do the same. We can become great workers of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. This is a summarization of the whole Acts. Chapter 1 and 8 says, But you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When the Holy Spirit comes, we will receive the power. When we receive the power, we can become a witness of the gospel. The power is dunamis, which is also etymology of a dynamite. The word witness here means martyrs, martyr in the original Greek. We can live as a witness. When we receive the power, we can risk our life to preach the gospel. We can become true workers of God. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and have a spirit spirituality of the martyr. Risk your life and become witness of the gospel, preaching the gospel. I would like to introduce the martyrdom of Polycarp, bishop of the Church of Smyrna. He was a disciple of Apostles John. Everyone was res respected him. Many people gathered together to hear from him. So, Emperor, Emperor of Rome asked people to kill him. When the people came to arrest him, he prepared a table for them to eat and drink. Who came to kill him? While they ate and drank before the sacrifice of a martyrdom, Polycarp requested an hour for prayer, but no one stopped his prayer as he was approaching nearly two hours. After his prayer was over, after he has finished the praying, he was rushed into the execution ground. And a loud voice from heaven was heard from the Christians who were hiding in the audience and watching. He heard the voice of God, Be strong and act like a man. Said the provincial governor who thought about Polycarp's reputation and old age. So he said, Swear, then I will release you. Curse Christ. In a desperate moment, to escape with death and gain life, Polycarp opened his mouth. For 86 years I have been his servant. In the meantime, he hasn't done anything wrong with me. But how can I blaspheme 
the king who saved me. Therefore, so governor's threat continued. Polycarp did not swear, and he said, I have a beast, I have a wild animal, I will throw you into the cage. And Polycarp said, throw me into the cage. The interrogation of the governor followed as the shots of the brothers, these Romans, covered the execution ground. If you don't change your mind, I will burn you. Then Polycarp answered again, You threaten with the fire that burns and, ext uh, and extinguishes, but you are unaware of the coming judgment and the fire of eternal punishment prepared for the wicked. Why are you delaying? Do whatever you want. Polycarp said, as the soldiers tried to tie up Polycarp and Paul above the pyre, the one who will make me bear the fire will also keep, keep me motionless on, on the pyre. The polycarp tied to a pole, looked up the sky and prayed like this. In, in the immorality of the Holy Spirit, spirit and body receive the resurrection of the life. We, I give thanks to you. Receive me among the martyrs as a rich and ac acceptable sacrifice. And the polycarp tied The Polycarp prayed were over. The people saw the miracle in the blazing fire. Polycarp, Polycarp tied to the pole and did not burn a single hair, but rather a fire arched around the Polycarp. When he learned that the fire could, not, could never execute the Polycarp, the executor killed him with a knife. The fire was quenched with his blood. The, finally, he was thrown into the fire, and that's how he died. The Christian faith is the tree of life for the salvation of mankind, which sprouted from the blood of the martyrs. For centuries, he said, how can I blaspheme God? He never done anything wrong. His story was recorded, and many people was watching him. Many people repented by seeing his death. Let us all follow the spirituality of the martyrdom. Let's do our best and glorify the name of God. Let us be used as, as the instrument of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Lord. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Give us the power and wisdom. Let us preach the gospel with the spirit of a martyrdom. I bless you in the name of the Lord. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we can do anything. We can resolve all problems. We can be saved and live a victorious life in what circumstances. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Receive the power. Let us become a witness of God. Let's remember the martyrdom of a Polycarp and Stephen. Let us make a new determination and let's sing this song together. Are we able? Let's make the same confession together. Are we able, said the Master, to be crucified with me? Yet the sturdy dreamers answered, To the death we follow thee. Lord, we are able. Our spirits are thine. Remove them, make us like thee divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall be.
a beacon to God, to love and loyalty. As this hymn says, let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us devote ourselves to the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father with full of love and grace, our forefathers of faith, they even risked their life for the Lord. They showed their whole full devotion, Father. We are living in prosperity. We lost our passion and enthusiasm, Lord. Lord, let us become like Christians, people in the early church. Let us have the spirituality of a martyrdom. Let us preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us practice the love of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let us continue to keep our head bowed down a little while longer. What is our life? Our life is just like a fog. We'll be disappeared someday. There's no bigger blessing than believing in Jesus Christ. If you want to accept Jesus today, if today is your first time visiting our church, if you want to have the conviction of the salvation, please stand up right now. On the balconies, on the first floor, doesn't matter wherever you are. If you can hear my voice, please stand up right now. Lord, I'm here. Please accept me, Lord. Having this service through the satellite broadcasting in front of the mobile devices doesn't matter wherever you are. Your destiny will be changed. You will be greatly blessed. Please stand up right now. Please do not hesitate and pray after me. This prayer will lead you to the salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I do not know where I'm from and why I live. I do not know where I'm going. I have lived in sins. You died on the cross for my sins. I accepted Jesus who resurrected as my personal Savior. I have become a child of God. I have been... I will live for you from now and forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome in the name of the Lord. Today is the Holy Communion Sunday. Let's remember our Jesus Christ, His, His body and His blood. This is time of the grace. Let's look back ourselves through the Holy Communion. Let's make repentance today that we did not follow fully to the Lord. We did not give thanks to God. We did not practice love of Jesus. Let's all join this Holy Communion. Let's make a determination today. Let's devote ourselves to the Lord. Let's all prepare our hearts with a prayer. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, we are able, our spirits are thine. We mold them and make us like the divine. Thy guiding radiance 
above us it shall be. A beacon to God, to love and loyalty. I'm going to read this Bible verse. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of a Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will rise him up at the last day. For my flesh is the real food, and my blood is a real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that they came down from heaven. Our forefathers ate manna and died, but he who feeds on this bread will live forever. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, at this time, we would like to join this Holy Communion today. When we join the Holy Communion, we, repent, we join with the repentance of our sin. All of us who join this Holy Communion, heal us and forgive us and recover us today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. People who believe in Jesus and saved, you can all join this Holy Communion. But let's repent our sin and join the Holy Communion. Then we will experience the wonderful grace of God. Therefore, when we join the Holy Communion today, let's join with the repentance. Through repentance, we cannot take off our mask. According to the quarantine guideline, we cannot join this Holy Communion right now, but please bring this Holy Communion kit at home to your house and to your place of living in and share the communion, Holy Communion. Let's sing this song while we are handing out the Holy Communion kit. This is the, the broken bread, the body marred for me. The very body of the Lord, the nail broken on the tree. This is a blood outpoured in judgment in my steed. For you, for me, a Calvary in love and mercy shed. Here is the table spread, which Jesus doth prepare. Who gives, gives us now this bread of life, this cup which now we share. the Lord for whom we yearn. 
ascended for a space. Comes soon, and we at his return, with the joy shall see his face. And we, until that hour, let us in every place. Bear still our cross, still tell. His power, His mercy, and His grace. Let's hold the Holy Communion kit and let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, with the Holy Communion kit, we will bring this home. We will pray and join the Holy Communion. Lord, pour your healing upon us today. When we join the Holy Communion, pour your grace upon us. Let the darkness flee from us. Let us gain healthy body, resolve the problem, and perform your miracles in our lifetime. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Please lay your hands on the sick part of your body. If you have any problems, please lay your hands on the chest. Dear Heavenly Father, with the grace of God, Lord, come and lay your hands on us. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Resolve the problems today. Set us free from all diseases. Your poverty, go away. Anxiety, worries, agony, all wounded hearts, traumas, go away. Your severe headache, mental disease, brain disease, go away. Your lip disease, no disease, and eye disease, go away. Your shoulder pain and joint problem, go away. You heart disease and stomach disease, go away. You high blood pressure, diabetes, go away. All cancers and tumors, go away. You skin disease, incurable disease, and sterility, go away. Answer our prayer for our children. Bless our family today. Bless our working places and business today. Believe that you already have received it. Answer all our prayers today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. A severe diabetes is healed. Swelled feet and hands are, he are healed. A depression is healed. Painful stomach is gone. Shoulder pain is healed. Our God is our healer. The Lord can resolve our problem. Let's make a confession in faith. Receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us live a life of a witness. Let's practice the love, love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's glorify the name of God. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we truly thank you for your wonderful love and grace. In this Holy Communion Sunday, thank you for calling each one of us and let us worship you in spirit and truth. At this time, you have called anointed Pastor Young Lee today, and thank you for giving us this, the message of blessing today. Father God, this is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, control our hands and our mind as we make our offerings today. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, Amen. The all foreign guests, I have an announcement for all foreign guests to have joined our service today. Number one, on Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship services. 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. service. Number two, on Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. Number three, on Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from, from 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please come and join our services. And I'll be right back after this special song.
Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we give thanks to you, Father. Lord, we made our Sunday offering, our Thanksgiving offering, our tithe heart hospital offering, and many different kinds of offering. Receive this gladly, Lord, and let it be used for your glory, Father, and bless our hands even a thousand times more than before, so we may practice love of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may the abundant grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with all the congregation and their family members who received the fullness of the Holy Spirit and decided to live as a witness of God and in their daily life in forever. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good to me. Please be seated. Starting from tomorrow, we will have a special early prayer service. When we come together and pray together, God will pour much grace upon us, especially let's pray for our students, senior students who will take a Korean SAT. Let's pray for them together. And we will have Thanksgiving Sunday on the 20th. Let's pray and let's receive answers from the Lord. We have a couple other announcements. Please carefully carry the kit, the Holy Spirit kit, make sure it will not leak. It has been a pleasure to minister today to you today in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service, and thank you for coming today. God bless you. 대성전 지하 3층 주차장은 새가족 전용 주차장으로 운영되어 오니 참조하여 주시기 바랍니다. 오늘 결실한 분들을 위한 새가족 환영회가 베들레헴 성전에서 있습니다. 온라인 새가족 분들은 교회 홈페이지 및 모바일 앱으로 등록 및 교육에 참여하실 수 있습니다. 이상 교회 소식을 마치겠습니다. 성도님들은 남자 선교회 안내에 따라 질서 있게 귀가해 주시기 바랍니다.
여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 첫째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사 피해자 유가족들을 지원하기 위해 위로금 10억 원을 전하기로 했습니다. 첫 소식 김선태 리포터가 전해드립니다. 지난 주말 발생한 이태원 인명사고는 전 국민에게 큰 충격과 안타까움을 전했는데요. 사고 발생 다음 날인 30일 이영훈 목사는 주일 예배 설교에 앞서 참사 피해자들과 가족들에게 위로의 말을 전했습니다. 어젯밤 이태원에서 할로윈 데이 축제로 모였던 청년들이 밀려서 넘어지면서 오늘 아직까지 149명이 사망한 것이 확인됐습니다. 유가족들에게 깊은 위로의 말씀을 전하고 또 지금 병원에 있는 많은 청년들이 빨리 건강이 회복돼서 가족 품으로 돌아가게 되기를 바랍니다. 이번 사고로 156명의 사망자 등 300여 명의 사상자가 발생했는데요. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사로 절망에 빠진 피해자 가족들을 지원하기 위해 10억 원의 위로금을 전달하기로 했습니다. 우리 교회의 사랑의 섬김은 각종 통신사와 언론을 통해서도 집중 조명됐고 또 한국교회의 위로사역에 도화선이 됐습니다. 지면을 통해 입장을 전한 이영훈 목사는 우리는 성경의 말씀처럼 슬퍼하는 자들과 함께 울며 고통 중에 있는 분들을 위로하고자 우리 사명을 다할 것이라며 한국교회가 이 일에 함께 나서주길 바란다고 전했습니다. 우는 자와 함께 울어주는 것이 우리 그리스도인들의 사랑의 삶의 모습이어야 되지 않겠습니까? 우리가 하나님 이곳에 있지만 우리 하나님 앞에 기도할 때 하나님께서 그들의 마음을 어루만져 주시옵소서. 또 2일 수요 예배에선 참사로 어려움을 겪고 있는 유족과 부상자들의 회복과 치유를 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 우는 자들과 함께 울라는 예수님의 말씀에 따라 국가와 사회의 아픔에 함께하며 우리 사회의 아픔이 조속히 치유되고 회복되길 한 마음 되어 기도합니다. FGTV 뉴스 김석태입니다. 우리 교회 부흥과 발전을 논의하기 위한 제2차 중직자 워크숍이 지난 29일 이영우 목사를 강사로 있었습니다. 계속해서 김선태 리포터입니다. 이날 모임은 지난 9월 열렸던 1차 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회 주요 과제들을 점검하고 또 풀어가기 위한 시간이었습니다. 이영우 목사는 우리 교회가 부흥의 물결에 오르기 위해 무엇보다 기본에 충실해야 할 것을 언급하며 리더들이 먼저 기도의 회복에 앞장서야 할 것을 강조했습니다. 우리 모두가 그러한 부흥의 물결을 타야 되는데 제일 시급한 것이 기도의 회복입니다. 기도 회복. 여러, 여러 막론하고 리더들이 기도하지 않으면 교회에 여러 가지 문제 어려움을 해결할 방법이 없습니다. 우리들이 먼저 무릎을 꿇어야 됩니다. 우리들이 먼저 하나님 기도해야 됩니다. 덧붙여 창세기부터 계시록까지 말씀 교육 강화의 중요성을 말했고 전도운동 회복의 필요성을 도전하며 원초적이고 원색적인 성령운동과 방언기도의 회복을 당부했습니다. 앞으로 우리 교회 기본 사역이 우리 순봉교회가 따르게 부흥하게 아니라 우리 조영기 목사님께서 늘 제가 귀 못이 박히도록 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 성형 받고 방안해야 된다. 전성도 성형 받고 방안하는 운동. 전성도. 지금 부흥하는 교회는 장로교 감리교회는 다 방안해요. 다 방안해. 또 과거 경험과 서열만 고집하는 꼰대 정신이 교회 안에 있어서는 안 된다며 교회 안에 유모차와 휠체어가 편안하게 다닐 수 있도록 젊은 세대와 약자에게 배려하는 생각의 전환이 필요하다고 말했습니다. 생각의 전환. 이제는 우리가. 눈높이를 20대, 30대에 맞춰갖고 낮아져서 섬기는 자세로 가야 돼 여러분들 교회를 좀 바꾸셔야 돼 여러분들 앞정성을 헌신하셔야 돼 계속해서 이영훈 목사는 앞선 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회학교 지역분교 운영안과 교회 내 결혼 지원 방안 등을 논의했고 우리 교회 모바일 앱을 활용한 매일 아침 메시지 전송과 청년 일자리 박람회 등에 대한 연구를 제안했습니다. 워크숍에 이어 김영석 성애 부본부장이 제26차 세계 우순절 대회에 대한 결과 보고를 가졌고 참석자들은 우리 교회의 부흥과 사역을 위해 합심하여 기도했습니다. 우리 교회가 강한 부흥의 물결에 올라 전 세계에 하나님 나라를 확장하는 거룩한 사명을 잘 감당해 가기를 기대해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 
순복음 실업인 선교연합회 사회사업 미용 선교회는 28일 개인적인 사정으로 결혼식을 올리지 못한 여섯 쌍의 부부에게 가을날의 아름다운 추억을 선사했습니다. 이찬미 리포터가 전합니다. 결혼 행진곡과 함께 오늘의 주인공들인 신랑 신부가 입장합니다. 이날 결혼식을 올린 부부는 여섯 쌍으로 농어촌 거주자와 다문화 가정, 탈북민 등 피치 못할 사정으로 식을 올리지 못한 이들입니다. 결혼식을 위해 사회사업 미용 성교회 회원들은 신랑 신부 메이크업은 물론 턱시도와 드레스 대여까지 무료로 제공했고 순복음 실업인 성교연합회 홍보본부는 신랑 신부의 소중한 추억을 담은 웨딩 촬영을 지원했습니다. 사회사업 미용 성교회 송구명 회장의 사회로 진행된 예식에서 주례를 맡은 이영훈 목사는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치길 기원했고 또 서로에 대한 배려와 섬김을 당부했습니다. 오늘 여섯 가정 하나님께서 큰 복을 주길 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 지금까지 힘들고 어려운 인생을 살아왔지만 이제부터는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치나고 행복하고 기쁘고 장수하고 의미 있고 보람되고 행복한 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. 신랑 신부들은 이영훈 목사의 성혼 선포에 따라 머리를 맞대고 혼인 서약에 큰 소리로 답했습니다. 함께 생활한 지 40년 만에 또 39년 만에 식을 올린 부부들은 너무 감사하다고 입을 모았습니다. 오랜 기간 미룰 수밖에 없었던 숙제를 마친 여섯 쌍의 신랑 신부들. 미래를 향한 발걸음이 더할 나위 없이 경쾌해 보입니다. FGTV 뉴스 이참입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 30일 주일 예배에 참석한 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들과 환담을 나눴습니다. 이 자리에는 국제사역 담당 길버트 곤잘레스 위원 등이 함께했습니다. 이영훈 목사는 우리 교회와 국제구호개발 NGO 구피블이 함께하는 사업들을 소개했고 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들은 이들 사업에 대한 미국의 협력과 한미동맹 강화를 강조했습니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 28일 유력 시사 잡지인 월간 조선과 인터뷰를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 이영훈 목사는 코로나 이후 한국 교회의 회복과 부흥, 또 섬김과 나눔 사역 등 다양한 주제로 대화했습니다. 또 코로나로 촉발된 젊은 세대의 미래에 대한 불안함 증가에 대해 한국 교회가 위기를 기회로 바꿔 나가는 지혜가 필요한 시점이라고 진단했습니다. 인터뷰 기사는 월간 조선 12월 후에 게재됩니다. 우리 교회는 11월 13일 둘째 주일부터 어린 자녀들과 교회에 나온 성도들, 또 새가족들을 위해 주일 주차장 운영 방식을 변경합니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 30일 이 같은 내용을 성도들에게 전하며 교회의 미래인 다음 세대가 더욱 부흥하도록 성도들의 협조를 당부했습니다. 특별히 상공사공 부모들을 위해서 교회 모든 들어오는 입구 유모차를 갖고 오기에 편하도록 다 고치도록 했고 주차 공간도 특별히 마련해서 주차가 바로 교회 예배당 먹을 수 있도록 조치를 취하라고 지시를 했습니다. 그래서 이 한시예배 상호사고 젊은 부모들이 많이 나와서 함께 예배드리고 우리 아이들이 이곳에서 자라서 우리 대한민국의 미래를 변화시킬 위대한 인물들이 많이 태어나기를 간절히 소원합니다. 할렐루야! 변경 운영안에 따라 새가족과 함께 온 차량은 대성전 지하 3층을, 또 영유아 동반 3040 성도들 차량은 제2교육관 주차장을 이용하면 됩니다. 우리 교회는 코로나가 한창이던 2020년 9월부터 모바일 간편 헌금 서비스를 제공하고 있는데요. 스마트폰을 통해 언제 어디서나 쉽게 헌금할 수 있는 서비스입니다. 간편 헌금 서비스는 유비페이와 국민은행, 두 가지 방법으로 이용할 수 있습니다. 국민은행의 경우 PC와 모바일 앱, 모바일 웹에서 모두 헌금할 수 있습니다. 또 사용자 중심의 결제 플랫폼으로 한번 등록으로 안전하게 헌금할 수 있고 관리도 용이합니다. 교회 학교는 9월 16일부터 10월 28일까지 7주 동안 학생들의 금요 철야 예배인 틴스파워 청소년 철야 예배 출석 챌린지 이벤트를 진행했습니다. 현장에는 매주 150명에서 200여 명 사이의 학생들과 교사, 학부모들이 모여 예배드리며 
하나님의 자녀답게 살아갈 것을 다짐했습니다. 교회학교는 7주간 한 번도 빠지지 않고 출석한 85명의 학생들을 시상했고 이중 5명을 추천해 특별상도 시상했습니다. 장년대교구 비전 1교구 성도들은 지난 29일 송도 예수비전 순복음교회에서 단기 선교를 가졌습니다. 부모와 자녀 41명이 한 팀을 이뤘고 예수비전교회 창립 9주년 예배에서 찬양 인도와 특송에 함께했습니다. 또 송도 땅밟기를 가지며 각자가 밟는 모든 땅에 하나님의 나라가 임하도록 선포했습니다. 마포 1대교구와 관악대교구, 강서 2대교구, 용산대교구는 기도원에서 성령 대망이를 갖고 성령의 충만함과 교구 보호를 위해 힘써 기도했습니다. 금천대교구와 영등포대교구, 반석대교구는 3, 4, 5, 0 예배를 드리고 각 교구의 허리층이 더욱 견고해지도록 예배했습니다. 또 양천대교구는 남성 연합 예배를 갖고 남성 지구역 부흥을 위해 기도했습니다. 남대문 성전은 10월 27일부터 사흘간 상권 회복과 새 생명 전도 축제를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회를 가졌고 30일에는 새 생명 전도 축제를 가졌습니다. 전도 축제에는 30여 명의 태신자가 참석했습니다. 새성북 성전의 수요 어머니 기도회가 뜨겁습니다. 매 수요 예배 후 시작되는 기도회에는 200여 명의 어머니들이 참석해 자녀와 가족, 교회 부흥과 예배 회복, 다음 세대 부흥을 위해 기도하고 있습니다. 우리 교회의 530번째 개척교회인 선암마음교회가 29일 창립 예배를 드렸습니다. 이영호 목사는 영상을 통해 교회 창립을 축복했고 한상인 목사가 창립 예배에서 설교했습니다. 계속해서 단임 목사 취임과 공포가 있었고 공창남 개척위원장이 공로패와 개척지원금을 전했습니다. 서철원 목사는 온전한 헌신을 다짐했습니다. 국제구호개발 NGO 구피플은 지난 31일 기주비 캐피탈과 함께 러시아와 우크라이나의 전쟁을 피해 국내에 입국한 안산시 고려인 남빈 130가구에 1,300만 원 규모의 침구류와 생필품으로 구성된 사랑의 희망박스를 지원했습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에서는 꿈을 이루는 축복대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야 할렐루야 11월 성찬주의 3부 예배 살아계신 하나님이 우리와 함께 하십니다 성령의 충만한 역사를 기대하며 함께 찬양 올려드리시겠습니다 깊은 절망에 깊은 절망에 수렁 가운데 주님께 닿을 수 없던 우리 어둠 밤 중에 하늘을 향해 주의 이름 나 부를 때 신주 사랑 나의 절망 거두셨네 주님의 공로 다 이루셨네 주 예수 나의 산소망 아멘 그 누가 주의 그 누가 주의 자비를 달아 한없는 은혜 증량할까 영광을 떠나 이 땅에 오신 제가 되신 구주 예수 주의 십자가 주의 십자가 내게 말하네 영원히 난 용납된 아름다운 신화 아름다운 신화 나는 주의 그리스도 그리스도 나의 산소 할렐루야 주를 찬양 할렐루야 성포 사망이 무너졌도다 이제 사망은 이제 사망은 무덤이 더 우리를 우리를 주장할 수 없네 
십자가에 내린 기쁨으로 찬양합니다 주 십자가를 주 십자가를 진심으로 죄인을 구속하셨으니 그 피를 보고 믿는 자는 주님의 진노 면하겠네 내가 그 피를 유월절 그양에 피로 죄 씻으며 주님의 진노 면하겠네 내가 그 피를 유월절 그 양의 이를 볼 때에 내가 널 넘어서 구주의 사랑 그 신은 내 구주의 사랑 그 신은 내 보혈의 능력 심판의 불이 내릴 때에 주님의 진노 면하겠네 내가 그 피를 유월절 그 양의 피를 볼 때에 내가 널 넘어서 갈이 세상의 모든 죄를 이 세상의 모든 죄를 밝히시는 주의 보혈 성가 예수 그 귀한 피 찬송하고 찬송하세 주님 앞을 멀리 떠나 길을 잃고 헤맬 때에 나의 길을 따라오사 진리 구원하셔 흰눈보다 더 보다도 이는 보다도 주의 흘리신 보혈로 이제 씻어주옵소서 다시 반을 쓰셨으니 이로 얼굴 물들셨고 십자가의 모진 곳도 나를 위해 당하셨네 말로 영영할 수 없는 구세주의 구속하시 그대와 그 신자 찬송하고 찬송 찬송하고 찬송하세 아멘 이 눈보다도 이 눈보다도 주의 흘리신 모열로 이제 씻어주옵소서 아버지를 멀리 떠나 다른 길을 저버리고 여러 가지 죄악으로 주홍같이 되었으니 물같은 것 가지고는 씻을 수가 아주 없네 주여 위한 몸의 피로 날 정결케 하고 흰눈보다도 보다도 있는 보다도 주의 흘리신 보혈로 이제 씻어 내주 하나님 내주 하나님 넓고 그늘에는저큰 바다보다 깊다 너고 낯줄을 끌어 깊은 대로 저 한가운데 가보라 
예수 은혜의 바다로 내맘 꽂혀가라 외로 인생은 언제나 거기서 저 근만한 물결 보고 그빛 모르는 이쁜 바다 속을 한 번에 하려 안 보나 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 뱉이고 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내맘 꺼쳐가라 많은 사람이 얕은 물가에서 저 근마다 가려다가 잘싹거리는 작은 파도 보고 마음 약하여 못 가네 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 뱉기워 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내맘 꺾어 차고 타거라 차고 타거라 이제 곧 가거라 저 그늘의 바다 향해 듣는 사람마다 듣는 사람마다 복음 전하여 복스러운 소식 두루 뻗치세 모든 사람에게 전할 소식은 어느 누구나 오라 어느 누구나 죽게 나오라 어서 와서 주의 말씀 들으라 하늘아버지가 오라 하시니 어느 누구나 오라 오는 사람들은 지체 말고서 문 열었을 때에 들어오시오 생명길은 오직 구주 예수니 어느 누구나 오라 어느 누구나 죽게 나오라 어서 와서 주의 말씀 들 아버지가 오라 하시니 어느 누구나 오라 언약하신 대로 이를 것이니 누구든지 언약하실 수 있네 아는 사람에게 생명이로다 어느 누구나 오라 어느 누구나 죽게 나오라 어서 와서 주 말씀 들으라 하늘아버지가 오라 하시니 어느 누구나 오라 약한 나로 강하게 가난한 날 구하게 눈먼 날볼수 있게 약한 나로 강하게 약한 나로 강하게 가난한 날 구하게 눈먼 날볼수 있게 주 내게 행하셨네 호산나 호산나 내가 건너야 할까? 내가 건너야 할까? 거기서 내죄 시켰네. 이제 주의 사랑이 나를 우리 주님 앞에 일어나서 주님 찬양하겠습니다. 깊은 강에서 주가 깊은 강에 
나를 일으키셨도다 나를 구원의 노래 부르리 구원의 노래 부 예수 자유 주셨네 예수 자유 주셨네 하겠습니다. 주여, 주여, 주여. 십자가에서 이루신 놀라운 승리로 말미암아 모두 우리가 생명을 얻고 구원을 얻었습니다. 모두 그 구원의 노래를 주 앞에 나아갑니다. 주여 먼저는 우리가 주 앞에 노래하며 찬양한 뒤에 하늘 문을 여시고 성령이 바라며 집을 같이 세시어 집하여 주시옵소서. 놀라운 하늘의 역사하시니 예배가 되는 천하게 하여 주시옵시고. Give thanks, O my soul, and all that is within me. Give thanks, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. And all that is within me. Rejoice, O my soul. Good morning to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service. We invite you to prepare your heart for the service by, service by taking a few minutes to pray with us now. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. 
in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to, to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with the glory and honor. Amen. Let us sing our opening hymn found on page 1. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Praise Him, all cre creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Now we will recite the Apostles Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, he descended into hell. The third day, he rose again from the dead. From then, she shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Please turn in your hymn book to page 36. Page 36. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Sinners whose love can never forget the wormwood and the gal. Go spread your trophies at his feet and crown him Lord of all. Come lay your trophies at his feet and crown him Lord of all. Let every kindred and every tribe on this trust real fall.
to him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. To him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. O oh, that with the yonder sacred throne, we at his feet may fall. We will join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We will join the everlasting song. And crown him Lord of all. Amen. Now our elder Kim Pyong Hwa will pray for this service. Dear Heavenly Father, you made the earth, you made us souls in the earth. We praise your name. We lift up your name on high. Today, in this Holy Communion service, thank you for calling each one of us. Thank you for bringing our people with the love of sacrifice. We can support others, but we are supported before. But by the precious blood of Jesus, let us, let us have stabilized the government and economy, Father. Let us be re reunited once again, Father. We pray for the reunification of North and South Korea. Let, let Christians come together. Let us become one in this Republic of Korea, Father. Our Father, by the power of the blood of Jesus, stop the warfare in Ukraine and be with our senior pastor, Young Lee. Let him wear the clothes of threefold gospel and three fivefold blessing. Let us be armed with absolute positivity and thanksgiving, Father. Control him and control his language, Father, and lead this church with the fourth dimensional spirituality, Father. Oh, Father, you have called him as your messenger. We give thanks to you, Father, when he proclaims your gospel today. Dear Holy Spirit, be with him today and be with all listeners. Let us stand on the soil, the rock of the salvation today, Father. Let us wear the, the helmet and the sword of the fire of Holy Spirit. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit completely, Father. Dear, pour your spirit of repentance today. Oh, Father, God, let us to take a wave of the revival today, Father. You are the Creator, Father. Resolve all our problems and answer all our prayers today. Heal all our diseases today. We give thanks to You. Let it be done on earth as it is done in heaven, Father. Our Father God, be with our choir and their anthem today. Be with all the staff today. Be with all our people who are having this service through the satellite broadcasting. Control the whole service, Holy Trinity, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You are now worshiping third in the third, third service today. We welcome you to the Yoido Full Gospel Church, and we pray that today's message and the choir will be blessing to you. This is Isaac bringing you a simultaneous translation of this service, so you may enjoy worshiping with us. God bless you today. The scripture reading today is found in in the New Testament, Acts chapter 4, 29 through 31. Acts chapter 4, verse 29 through 31. Let's read together. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with a great boldness. Stretch out your hands to heal and 
perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Amen. You may now take off your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir.
Thank you for the precious anthem. Let's greet each other. Today is really a good day. Surely good things will happen to each one of us today. Hallelujah. This morning, I would like to share a message under the title, The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit, based on Acts chapter 4, 29 through 31. Please repeat after me, The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. We believe in Jesus Christ. After we believe in Jesus, the most important thing is to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. When we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we can overcome the world of problems. We can live a victorious life every day. Disciples of Jesus followed Jesus three and a half years, and they learned words before they have received the Holy Spirit. They were like chickens, and they were like all betrayers. They stayed, tried to stay away from the death of Jesus. They all ran away, scattered all over the places. But after they received the Holy Spirit, they were completely different. They received the power of the Holy Spirit. They became a witness of God. Therefore, after we believe in Jesus, in order to live a powerful and victorious life, if you want to overcome all difficulties, if you want to enjoy the new life, receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. That is the secret. In the day of the Pentecost, the church was born. The descent of the Holy Spirit. The early church revived amazingly through the work of the being filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The work of the church revival is the firstly and secondly and thirdly must be the filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We must be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Peter and John, who were filled with the Holy Spirit, healed a man who had been crippled since birth in the name of Jesus during the ninth hour of a prayer. As the news spread throughout Jerusalem, a revival took place in the church. When Peter raised and crippled the man in the name of Jesus, when boldly preached, boldly preached the gospel to the people, more than 5,000 male adults turned to the Lord. Acts chapter 4 and 4 says, But many who were heard the message believed. So the number of men who believed grew about 5,000. Adults, men is 5,000, about 20,000 people, including women and children, turned to the Lord. 5,000 men repented their sin. So many people made a decision on that day. Great things will happen today in our church today. Lord, let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us revive every day. Work of the Holy Spirit. Make the church revive. Let us be used as an instrument of God. We can resolve the problem. We can flee from the darkness. We'll flee from you. Lord, let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit today. I bless you in the name of the Lord. When, Apost when Peter, Apostles John, and they went, when they preached the gospel, so many people believed in Jesus. The priests and Sadducees and were the religious leaders at the time were startled and arrested Peter and John. Acts chapter 4 and 3, they seized Peter and John, and because it was evening, but put, it, put them in the prison until the next day. Peter and John received the power of the Holy Spirit, and they did a wonderful job. All believers, God gave this power to everyone who believed in Jesus. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the power of the name of the Jesus Christ. The high priest and leaders that took Peter and John out of the prison asked the question, Acts chapter 4 and 7, Peter and John brought, brought before them and began to question them, why did you do this? The Peter filled the Holy Spirit and answered like this, then know this, and you all people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, and this, that this man stand before you healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this man is healed and stand before you. We have the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
With the power of Jesus, we can go forward. We can experience a great miracle and blessing. Peter continued to proclaim boldly. Acts chapter 4, 11 says, Jesus, the stone you build us rejected, which is to become a cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. There is no other name by which we can can be saved but the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way and our salvation, our truth, and our life. The Lord is telling us, John 14, 6 says, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to Father except through me. That is right. Only Jesus is our way and the truth. Only Jesus is our truth. He is only our life. When you believe in Jesus Christ, we, we can choose the right way. We can understand the right truth. We can understand eternal life. Shinchanji Heresy, the sect leader, is spreading their gospel to the, all over the places. But a lot of people, so, some people believing in Him, do not be deceived. Jesus is the only one. i s the way of the salvation. The high priest and religious leaders were surprised to see Peter and John, who they had despised and ignored, speak boldly and logically. They would have thought Peter and John were ignorant, people who didn't know anything. So, and, so they let them go out and they discussed the countermeasures. Acts chapter 4, 14 says, But to stop this thing from spreading any further among the people, we must warn them to speak no longer to anyone in this time. After the discuss of countermeasures, they called Peter and John, warned them and threatened them. Acts chapter 4, 18 says, And they called them and again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all the name of Jesus. After further threat, they let them go. And they could not decide how to punish them because all the people were so, uh, praising God for what had happened. As a such, there is authority in the name of Jesus whom we believe in. He healed, he healed the sickness and raised the dead. And He did a great, wonderful thing under the name of Jesus Christ. All, power of the, all the power of the world bow down before God. Philippians 2, 9 says, Therefore God exalted him to the high place and they gave him the name that is above every name. At that name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Receive the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We can defeat the darknesses. You can defeat all diseases. You can, de you can defeat all problems. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your diseases go away, your darknesses go away, your worry, anxieties go away. You can order them. You can tell them. They will flee from you. Diseases will leave you. Poverty and problems will leave you. In the name of Jesus, we can live a victorious life every day. I bless you in the name of the Lord. We have the great power of this name of Jesus. We can proclaim. We can practice love of Jesus Christ. The apostles were released and returned and to testify of God's grace and pray before like this. Acts chapter 4, 29. Now, Lord, consider their threat and enable your servants to speak your word with a great boldness. Stretch out your hands to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Help us to speak the word of God boldly. Lord, let us reach out our hands and heal the sick. May the signs and wonders be done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When they were filled with the Holy Spirit and proclaimed the word of God and wonderful work of a revival took place, we will see the grace of God. We will see the miracle of God. We will see the blessing of God. We will live a prosperous life. We will gain a whole new life for once again, but abundantly. Brothers and sisters, receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We're, sometimes we fall down easily. Sometimes we fall into the temptation. We talk about others and blame others because we did not fill with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We can get rid of our old self. We can live a new life again with a great joy. We can share with one another. They show the love t h e i r the poor and marginalized neighbors. We can change as a great people of God. 
There's no poor people in the early church. Acts 4.33 says, With the great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And God's grace was so powerfully at work at them that there was no needy persons among them. From time to time, those who owned the land, the houses, sold them and brought the money from the sales and put it on the apostles' feet and it was distributed to the people. There was no poor people in the early church. All many rich people that brought their money and resolved the problem of the needies. They resolved the problem like that. They lived a prosperous life. That's the image of an early church. We must. We, we lost the spirituality of an early church during these days because we lost the sharing. There was no needy. There was no poor people. But today's church, so many poor people still exist. The reason we have received the blessing because we have to share with one another. If you keep it, you will not be blessed. That is not a blessing. God gave you a great blessing to share with one another. A long time ago in Manhattan, a, a beggar was freezed to death. And, and people opened, their, opened his sleeping bag. There was a dollar and five dollar bills and many, many different kind of bills. It was a seven, seventy thousand dollars in there. Seventy thousand U.S. dollars was in the sleeping bag of the beggar, homeless person. That's a lot of money. He did not spend that money. He just died on the street in New York. He just collected this money in his pockets. Brothers and sisters, brought. We are all blessed to believe in the blessed people of Jesus. We must share with one another. Share with one another. Greater blessing will pour upon us. When you share with the others, He will give you more. He will give you blessing upon blessing. Our church, through the three years of the coronavirus, our church spent one third of its budget on relief work. We spent approximately 30 million US dollars annually. We brought the $500 per each person. But through the grace of God, God has blessed us. The 90% of the people was recovered and, and the offering is 100% recovered. We can share with one another. God will bless you even more. All the churches in Korea, in the whole world, let's share with one another. Therefore, greater increase as it's shared. People, some people, some rich people gain more. There's a big difference between white color and blue color workers. Lord, let us give us a revival. Let us share with one another even more than before. Use us as your instrument. Acts chapter 431 says, after they prayed, the place that they were meeting was shaken. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word boldly. Acts chapter 6 and 7, so the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. They filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. They saw the power of the Holy Spirit. Many priests who crucified Jesus, they repented their sin and came back to Jesus. The church was revived every day. There's a lot of things to take care of, so they had to. So they had to. The brought more servant. If the servant the causes trouble, that means that they're not qualified. I'm talking about deacons and deaconesses and the elders. Those are the servant of God as well. Acts chapter. 6 and 3 says, Brothers and sisters, choose the seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them. The person who had a responsibility and problem was appointed, appointed as a, not chosen as a servant of God. They're not qualified. They were people who were full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, the Word, and were praised by people. They served the church and revived again and again. Deacon Stephen, one of the seven deacons of the early church, was filled with the whole fullness of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 6 and 8 says, Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed the great wonders and signs among the people. When he was 
the possessed by the Holy Spirit. No one could face him. Acts chapter 6 and 10 says, but uh, they could not stand up against the wisdom filled with the Holy Spirit, and he saw heavens open. Acts chapter 7, 55 says, But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus is standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open, and the Son of a Man standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, the heaven is open, the Son of a Man is standing right, right hand of God. But people felt the remorse in their conscience and covered their ears and tried to kill, uh, kill the Stephen, he became the first martyr. Acts chapter 7, 57 says, at, they, at this day, covered their ears and the yelling at the top of their voices, and they all ruined him and dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witness laid at their coats and the feet of the young man named Saul, who was armed, armed yourself in the name of Jesus, declared the word, word boldly, a blessing and the miracle will be yours, and demons will do even away. God, God will bless your life. When we receive the blessing, when we receive the grace, we must share with one another. If you keep in yourself, that is not a true blessing. It will decay. It will go bad. You must share it just like a flowing of the water. If the water stays, it will decay. It will go bad. You must share with one another. It will become like living water. We will be filled with the fullness of the grace of the Lord. Be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1 and 8, this is a summarization of the whole Acts. Let's read together. But you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Amen. When the Holy Spirit comes, we will receive the power in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You will be a witness of God. Witness means maltus, that means martyr in the original Greek. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we risk our life to preach the gospel. That's what it means. Brothers and sisters, receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, receive the power, and become a witness of God. He, Poly, Polycarp was the disciple of Apostles, Apostles Paul. He was 86 years old. He died a martyr. He was a great person of God. In the time of Rome, of a persecution, he was caught, and he was about to be executed. So he, the Roman soldiers came to arrest him, but he prepared a table for them to eat and drink. People who came to kill him, eat this food, take a rest, uh, while, while they ate and drank before the sacrifice of Martyrdom, Polycarp requested an hour of a prayer, but no one stopped his prayer as he was approaching nearly two hours. After he prayed, and let's go together, after he had finished the praying, he was rushing to the execution ground, execution ground, and a loud voice from heaven was heard from the Christians who were hiding in the audience and watching. Be strong. Act like a man. Be strong and courageous. He was respected by many people. His name is known to so many people. So said the provincial governor who, who thought about Polycarp's reputation, swear then I will release you. Curse Christ. If he cursed Jesus, he could be released. He could be saved. He has told him to do this because he wants to save him. But he said, I was a servant of God for 86 years. In the meanwhile, he hasn't done anything wrong with me. But how can I blaspheme the king who saved me? He has refused. Here's a suggestion, and he refused to do that. I cannot deny Jesus. The governor's threat continued. I have a wild animals. If you don't change your mind, I will throw into the cage. He heard the sound of beasts. 
sound of wild animals, and, and Polycarp says, throw me into the cage. He was an old man. He was the same age as a father. He did not throw him into the cage. He said, interrogation of the governor followed as a, a shout of the bloodthirsty Romans covered the execution ground. If you don't change your mind, I will burn you. But Polycarp said like this, you threaten with the fire that burns the extinguishes. But why, why are you de a, a delaying? Please do it. Do whatever you want to. The one who will make me bear the fire will also keep me motionless on the pyre. He said, he prayed like this, thank you, Lord, thank you for giving me the glory of a being included as a martyr in the cup of Christ at this time today. In, in the immorality, immortality of the Holy Spirit, spirit and the body received the resurrection of the eternal life. He did not fear of a death. Boldly, he has prayed like this, receive me as a martyr. The great things was happened. Polycarp tied to the pole and did not burn a single hair, but rather a fire arched around the Polycarp, the protecting the martyr of the old age, and the execution ground was filled with the fragrant smell. Many people who gathered was so surprised and greatly astonished when he learned that that fire could never execute Polycarp and the exec executioner killed him with a knife. At the time, the blood of Polycarp pouring out to put out the fiercely burning fire. Then he threw the body back into the fire and burned it. The Christian faith is the the tree of a life for the salvation of mankind, which is sprouted the, from the blood of the martyrs. For the, the whole country, the one-third of the Roman believed in Jesus at that time because of his martyrdom. We must preach the gospel to others, people who never heard about the gospel before. We must armed with spirituality of martyrdom and preach the gospel. Brothers and sisters, we must look back ourselves. How did we live? Did we be the joy of the Lord? We worry, worry about it because of our problems. We fall down easily, get wounded easily. We have complained to one another. Lord, come and forgive us. Let us get rid of our old self. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus only and march it forward again and again. Lord, come and hold us and use us as a, your instrument. Let your glory be revealed through our life. Let us be used as an instrument of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Let us serve the Lord with our whole hearts. Let's make a confession. Let's sing this song together. Are ye able, said the Master, to be crucified with me? Yet the sturdy dreamers answered, To the death we follow thee. Lord, we are able, our spirits are thine. Remove them and make us like thee divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall be. A beacon to God, to love and loyalty. Brothers and sisters, until we meet 
with the Lord. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Until to death, let's serve our Lord, devote ourselves to the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, we live only one life. Because of, of our own problems, we live the life of anxiety and worries. But let us live for the glory of God from now on. Lord, let us live for your will, Father. Let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Receive the power. Let us become a witness of the gospel. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please continue to keep your head bowed down a little while longer. What is our life? Our life, life is just like a fog. It will be disappeared someday. There's no bigger blessing than believing in Jesus Christ. If today is your first time visiting our church, if you still did not accept Jesus as your personal Savior, did not have a conviction of the salvation, please stand up right now. Make a decision today, right now, and receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and believe in Jesus. You will, you will be blessed. Blessing will be yours. Make a decision today. Do not hesitate. Please stand up right now. Having this service through the satellite broadcasting, in front of the TV, in front of the mobile devices, doesn't matter wherever you are. If you can hear my voice, please stand up right now. God is knocking your door right now. Open the door and stand up right now. Make a decision and pray after me. This prayer will lead you to the salvation. Dear Father God, I'm a sinner. I do not know where I'm from and why I live. I do not know where I'm going. I, I have lived in sins. You died on the cross for my sins. I accept Jesus who resurrected as my personal Savior. I have become a child of God. I will live for you from now and forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We welcome in the name of the Lord. So good to see you today. Today is the Holy Communion Sunday. Let, let us all remember the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus today. Let's make a repentance that we did not give thanks to God, that we did not pray. Let's all make a confession today. Let us receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Let us receive the power and let us live a spirituality of witness. Let us all prepare our hearts with a prayer before joining this Holy Communion. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we are able, our spirits are thine. Remold them, make us like the divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall be. a beacon to God, to love and loyalty.
Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of a Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and the drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will rise up at the last day. For my flesh is the real food and my blood is the real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that they came down from heaven. Our forefathers ate manna and died. But he who feeds, who feeds on this bread will live forever. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, at this time, we would like to join this Holy Communion today. We would like to remember your blood and your body. Lord, we Join, we will join with the repentance, Lord, to pour your blessing and grace upon us today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. People who believe in Jesus and saved, you can join the Holy Communion, but let's repent and join the Holy Communion in order to receive a, the bigger blessing. Due to quarantine guidelines, we cannot take off our a mask inside the building. Please bring this Holy Communion kit at home and, and join later at home with your family and your friends. Let's sing this song together while we are, we are handing out this Holy Communion kit. Oh, though the Lamb of God. Spotless and most holy. He is slain the unblemished lamb to bear our sins at Calvary. This is the broken bread, the body marred for me. The very body of the Lord, nail broken on the tree. This is the blood outpoured. In judgment in my steed. Praise God, the precious blood was shed, shed for you and me. Here is the table spread, which Jesus doth prepare. Who gives us now this bread of life? This cup which now we share. The Lord for whom we yearn ascended for a space. comes soon, and we at His return, with joy shall see His face. And we until that hour, let us in every place
bear steal our cross steel tail. His power, his mercy, and his grace. Let, let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, with this Holy Communion, when we pray and join the Holy Communion, pour your grace upon us and miracle upon us today. Set us free from diseases. Answer all our prayers today. Reveal your glory today, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please lay your hands on the sick part of your body. If you have any problems, please lay your hands on the chest. Dear Heavenly Father, with infinite love, we have laid our hands on us. Come and lay your hands on us today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your diseases go away. Your problems go away. Your anxiety, worries, agonies, past wounds go away. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your severe headache, insomnia, depression, mental disease, and brain disease go away. Your lip disease, nose disease, and eye disease go away. Your shoulder pain and neck pain go away. Your heart disease and stomach disease go away. High blood pressure, diabetes go away. All cancers and tumors go away. Skin disease, in incurable disease, and sterility go away. Answer our prayer for our children. Bless our family today. Bless our working places and business today. Answer all our prayers today, Lord. Perform your miracles through our life. Believe that you already have received it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Some shoulder pain and chest pain is gone today. There's a tumor inside the brain, but God healed you today. Due to anger and stress and cannot sleep at night and suffer from depression. But God is healing you today. Some joint problem, joint pain is gone. This person cannot digest well, always vomit and throwing up something, but God healed you today. So the right, right hip pain is gone. Our Lord is our healer. He will answer all your prayers today. Therefore, while we are living in this world, let us be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit and live a victorious life. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Please repeat after me. Receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and receive the power and let us all become a witness of God. Let's practice love of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, Thank you for giving us this blessed Sunday to worship you, Father. Oh, Father, thank you for leading us to your house. Help us not to stop this worship service until you're coming, Father. Oh, Father God, thank you for calling our Pastor Young Lee today to proclaim your gospel today. We rely on the word of God today. Let us live a victorious life. We give thanks to you, Lord, for your wonderful grace. This is time for the offering. Do you have any Father control our hands, our and mind as we make our offerings today? In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Dear all foreign guests, I have an announcement for all foreign guests who have joined our service today. Number one, on Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship services, 7 a.m., 9, 9 a.m., 11, 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. service. Number two, on Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. Number three, on Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from 9.30 p.m. until 11 p.m. Please come and join our services. And I'll be right back after this special song.
Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we made our precious offerings today with our whole hearts. Sunday offering, our tithe, our construction offering, and many different kinds of offerings. Receive this gladly, Lord, and bless our hands even thousand times more than before so we may practice love of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, may the abundant grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all the congregation and their family members who made a decision to live a precious life before the Lord in their daily life in forever. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Please be seated. Just a little while. Starting from tomorrow, we will have early morning special prayer meeting. Start at 5 a.m. for the whole two weeks, 7th until the 19th. And 20th Sunday is a, is a Thanksgiving Sunday. We have a couple more announcements. Be careful with the Holy Communion kids. Be careful not to leak. It has been a pleasure to minister today to you today in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service, and thank you for coming today. God bless you.
여러분 주님안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 첫째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사 피해자 유가족들을 지원하기 위해 위로금 10억 원을 전하기로 했습니다. 첫 소식 김선태 리포터가 전해드립니다. 지난 주말 발생한 이태원 인명사고는 전 국민에게 큰 충격과 안타까움을 전했는데요. 사고 발생 다음 날인 30일 이영훈 목사는 주일 예배 설교에 앞서 참사 피해자들과 가족들에게 위로의 말을 전했습니다. 어젯밤 이태원에서 할로윈 데이 축제로 모였던 청년들이 밀려서 넘어지면서 오늘 아직까지 149명이 사망한 것이 확인됐습니다. 유가족들에게 깊은 위로의 말씀을 전하고 또 지금 병원에 있는 많은 청년들이 빨리 건강이 회복돼서 가족 품으로 돌아가게 되기를 바랍니다. 이번 사고로 156명의 사망자 등 300여 명의 사상자가 발생했는데요. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사로 절망에 빠진 피해자 가족들을 지원하기 위해 10억 원의 위로금을 전달하기로 했습니다. 우리 교회의 사랑의 섬김은 각종 통신사와 언론을 통해서도 집중 조명됐고 또 한국교회의 위로사역에 도화선이 됐습니다. 지면을 통해 입장을 전한 이영훈 목사는 우리는 성경의 말씀처럼 슬퍼하는 자들과 함께 울며 고통 중에 있는 분들을 위로하고자 우리 사명을 다할 것이라며 한국교회가 이 일에 함께 나서주길 바란다고 전했습니다. 우는 자와 함께 울어주는 것이 우리 그리스도인들의 사랑의 삶의 모습이어야 되지 않겠습니까? 우리 하나님 이곳에 있지만 우리 하나님 앞에 기도할 때 하나님께서 그들의 마음을 어루만져 주시옵소서. 또 2일 수요 예배에선 참사로 어려움을 겪고 있는 유족과 부상자들의 회복과 치유를 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 우는 자들과 함께 울라는 예수님의 말씀에 따라 국가와 사회의 아픔에 함께하며 우리 사회의 아픔이 조속히 치유되고 회복되길 한마음 되어 기도합니다. FGTV 뉴스 김석태입니다. 우리 교회 부흥과 발전을 논의하기 위한 제2차 중직자 워크숍이 지난 29일 이영우 목사를 강사로 있었습니다. 계속해서 김선태 리포터입니다. 이날 모임은 지난 9월 열렸던 1차 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회 주요 과제들을 점검하고 또 풀어가기 위한 시간이었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 우리 교회가 부흥의 물결에 오르기 위해 무엇보다 기본에 충실해야 할 것을 언급하며 리더들이 먼저 기도의 회복에 앞장서야 할 것을 강조했습니다. 우리 모두가 그러한 부흥의 물결을 타야 되는데 제일 시급한 것이 기도의 회복입니다. 기도 회복. 여러, 여러 막론하고 리더들이 기도하지 않으면 교회에 여러 가지 문제 어려움을 해결할 방법이 없습니다. 우리들이 먼저 무릎을 꿇어야 됩니다. 우리들이 먼저 하나님께 기도해야 됩니다. 덧붙여 창세기부터 계시록까지 말씀 교육 강화의 중요성을 말했고 전도운동 회복의 필요성을 도전하며 원초적이고 원색적인 성령운동과 방언기도의 회복을 당부했습니다. 앞으로 우리 교회 기본 사역이 우리 순봉옥교회가 따르게 부흥하는 게 아니라 우리 조영기 목사님께서 늘 제가 귀모시 받게도록 성형받고 방안해야 된다. 성형받고 방안해야 된다. 전성도 성형받고 방안하는 운동. 전성도. 지금 부흥하는 교회는 장로교회, 감리교회는 다 방안해요. 다 방안해. 또 과거 경험과 서열만 고집하는 꼰대 정신이 교회 안에 있어서는 안 된다며 교회 안에 유모처와 휠체어가 편안하게 다닐 수 있도록 젊은 세대와 약자에게 배려하는 생각의 전환이 필요하다고 말했습니다. 생각의 전환. 이제 우리가 눈높이를 20대, 30대 맞춰갖고 낮아져서 섬기는 자세로 가야 돼. 여러분들 교회를 좀 바꾸셔야 돼. 여러분들 앞정서 헌신하셔야 돼. 계속해서 이영훈 목사는 앞선 오크숍에서 제기됐던 교회학교 지역 분교 운영안과 교회 내 결혼 지원 방안 등을 논의했고, 우리 교회 모바일 앱을 활용한 매일 아침 메시지 전송과 청년 일자리 박람회 등에 대한 연구를 제안했습니다. 워크숍에 이어 김영석 성의 부본부장이 제26차 세계 우순절 대회에 대한 결과 보고를 가졌고 참석자들은 우리 교회의 부흥과 사역을 위해 합심하여 기도했습니다. 우리 교회가 강한 부흥의 물결에 올라 전 세계의 하나님 나라를 확장하는 거룩한 사명을 잘 감당해 가기를 기대해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 
순복음 실업인 선교연합회 사회사업 미용선교회는 28일 개인적인 사정으로 결혼식을 올리지 못한 여섯 쌍의 부부에게 가을날의 아름다운 추억을 선사했습니다. 이찬미 리포터가 전합니다. 결혼 행진곡과 함께 오늘의 주인공들인 신랑 신부가 입장합니다. 이날 결혼식을 올린 부부는 여섯 쌍으로 농어촌 거주자와 다문화 가정, 탈북민 등 피치 못할 사정으로 식을 올리지 못한 이들입니다. 결혼식을 위해 사회사업 미용 선교회 회원들은 신랑 신부 메이크업은 물론 턱시도와 드레스 대여까지 무료로 제공했고 순복음 실업인 선교연합회 홍보본부는 신랑 신부의 소중한 추억을 담은 웨딩 촬영을 지원했습니다. 사회사업 미용 선교회 송금용 회장의 사회로 진행된 예식에서 주례를 맡은 이영훈 목사는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치길 기원했고 또 서로에 대한 배려와 섬김을 당부했습니다. 오늘 여섯 가정 하나에서 큰 복을 주길 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 지금까지 힘들고 어려운 인생을 살아왔지만 이제부터는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치하고 행복하고 기쁘고 장수하고 의미 있고 보람되고 행복한 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. 신랑 신부들은 이영훈 목사의 성혼 선포에 따라 머리를 맞대고 혼인 서약에 큰 소리로 답했습니다. 함께 생활한 지 40년 만에 또 39년 만에 식을 올린 부부들은 너무 감사하다고 입을 모았습니다. 오랜 기간 미룰 수밖에 없었던 숙제를 마친 여섯 쌍의 신랑 신부들. 미래를 향한 발걸음이 더할 나위 없이 경쾌해 보입니다. FGTV 뉴스 이참입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 이영호 목사는 지난 30일 주일 예배에 참석한 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들과 환담을 나눴습니다. 이 자리에는 국제사역 담당 길버트 곤잘레스 위원 등이 함께했습니다. 이영호 목사는 우리 교회와 국제구호개발 NGO 구피블이 함께하는 사업들을 소개했고 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들은 이들 사업에 대한 미국의 협력과 한미동맹 강화를 강조했습니다. 이영호 목사는 지난 28일 유력 시사 잡지인 월간 조선과 인터뷰를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 이영호 목사는 코로나 이후 한국 교회의 회복과 부흥, 또 섬김과 나눔 사역 등 다양한 주제로 대화했습니다. 또 코로나로 촉발된 젊은 세대의 미래에 대한 불안함 증가에 대해 한국 교회가 위기를 기회로 바꿔 나가는 지혜가 필요한 시점이라고 진단했습니다. 인터뷰 기사는 월간 조선 12월 후에 게재됩니다. 우리 교회는 11월 13일 둘째 주일부터 어린 자녀들과 교회에 나온 성도들, 또 새가족들을 위해 주일 주차장 운영 방식을 변경합니다. 이영훈 목사는 지난 30일 이 같은 내용을 성도들에게 전하며 교회의 미래인 다음 세대가 더욱 부흥하도록 성도들의 협조를 당부했습니다. 특별히 상공사공 부모들을 위해서 교회 모든 들어오는 입구 유모차를 갖고 오기 편하도록 다 고치도록 했고 주차 공간도 특별히 마련해서 주차고 바로 교회를 예배당 먹을 수 있도록 조치를 취하라고 지시를 했습니다. 그래서 이 한시예배 상공사공 젊은 부모들이 많이 나와서 함께 예배드리고 우리 아이들이 이곳에서 자라서 우리 대한민국의 미래를 변화시킬 위대한 인물들이 많이 태어나기를 간절히 소원합니다. 할렐루야! 변경 운영안에 따라 새가족과 함께 온 차량은 대성전 지하 3층을, 또 영유아 동반 3040 성도들 차량은 제2교육관 주차장을 이용하면 됩니다. 우리 교회는 코로나가 한창이던 2020년 9월부터 모바일 간편 헌금 서비스를 제공하고 있는데요. 스마트폰을 통해 언제 어디서나 쉽게 헌금할 수 있는 서비스입니다. 간편 헌금 서비스는 유비페이와 국민은행 두 가지 방법으로 이용할 수 있습니다. 국민은행의 경우 PC와 모바일 앱, 모바일 웹에서 모두 헌금할 수 있습니다. 또 사용자 중심의 결제 플랫폼으로 한번 등록으로 안전하게 헌금할 수 있고 관리도 용이합니다. 교회 학교는 9월 16일부터 10월 28일까지 7주 동안 학생들의 금요 철야 예배인 틴스파워 청소년 철야 예배 출석 챌린지 이벤트를 진행했습니다. 현장에는 매주 150명에서 200여 명 사이의 학생들과 교사, 학부모들이 모여 예배드리며 
하나님의 자녀답게 살아갈 것을 다짐했습니다. 교회학교는 7주간 한 번도 빠지지 않고 출석한 85명의 학생들을 시상했고 이중 5명을 추천해 특별상도 시상했습니다. 장년대교구 비전 1교구 성도들은 지난 29일 송도 예수비전 순복음교회에서 단기 선교를 가졌습니다. 부모와 자녀 41명이 한 팀을 이뤘고 예수비전교회 창립 9주년 예배에서 찬양 인도와 특송에 함께했습니다. 또 송도 땅밟기를 가지며 각자가 밟는 모든 땅에 하나님의 나라가 임하도록 선포했습니다. 마포 1대교구와 관악대교구, 강서 2대교구, 용산대교구는 기도원에서 성령 대망이를 갖고 성령의 충만함과 교구 부흥을 위해 힘써 기도했습니다. 금천대교구와 영등포대교구, 반석대교구는 3, 4, 5, 0 예배를 드리고 각 교구의 허리층이 더욱 견고해지도록 예배했습니다. 또 양천대교구는 남성 연합 예배를 갖고 남성 지구역 부흥을 위해 기도했습니다. 남대문 성전은 10월 27일부터 사흘간 상권 회복과 새생명 전도 축제를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회를 가졌고 30일에는 새생명 전도 축제를 가졌습니다. 전도 축제에는 30여 명의 태신자가 참석했습니다. 새성북 성전의 수요 어머니 기도회가 뜨겁습니다. 매 수요 예배 후 시작되는 기도회에는 200여 명의 어머니들이 참석해 자녀와 가족, 교회 부흥과 예배 회복, 다음 세대 부흥을 위해 기도하고 있습니다. 우리 교회의 530번째 개척교회인 선암마음교회가 29일 창립 예배를 드렸습니다. 이영호 목사는 영상을 통해 교회 창립을 축복했고 한상인 목사가 창립 예배에서 설교했습니다. 계속해서 단임 목사 취임과 공포가 있었고 공창남 개척위원장이 공로패와 개척지원금을 전했습니다. 서철원 목사는 온전한 헌신을 다짐했습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 지난 31일 디주비 캐피탈과 함께 러시아와 우크라이나의 전쟁을 피해 국내에 입국한 안산시 고려인 남빈 130가구에 1,300만 원 규모의 침구류와 생필품으로 구성된 사랑의 희망 박스를 지원했습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에서는 꿈을 이루는 축복 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Sondo in the Kesanen, Unero Nebel, Hendepon or Kojishigona, 
진동 모드로 바꿔주시면 감사하겠습니다 할렐루야 오늘 주일 사부 성찬 예배 우리 가운데 큰 은혜와 주님이신 기적이 일어나게 될줄 믿습니다 우리의 산 소망 대신 주님을 함께 찬양하겠습니다 절망에 수렁 가운데 주님께 갈수 없던 우리 어둠 밤 중에 하늘을 향해 주의 이름 나 부를 때 어둠을 두 신주 사랑 나의 절망 거두셨네 주님의 공도 다 이루셨네 주 예수 나의 사소만 그들가 주의 자비를 다 사된 몸에 부활의 호흡 시작됐네 유다의 사자 위험찬 섰고 사망이 무너졌도다 아멘 이제 사망이 
영광을 박수를 드리겠습니다 할렐루야 주 십자가를 주 십자가를 진심으로 죄인을 구속하셨으니 그 피를 보고 믿는 자는 주님의 진노 면하게 돼내 해가 그 피를 유월초 그리하게 할수 있다 하신 주, 할수 있다 하신 주. 믿음만이, 믿음만이 능력이라 하시네. 믿음만이, 믿음만이 능력이라 하시네. 할수 있다 하시니. 나를 바라보시고 나를 바라보시고 능력 준다 하시네 할수 있다 하신 주할수 있다 하신 주 사랑만이 사랑만이 능력이라 하시네 사랑만이 사랑만이 능력이라 하시네 주님의 보혈 주님의 보혈 주님의 보혈 보혈의 장바시네 이스라엘 이스라엘의 거룩한 제사같이 흐르고 있네 흐르고 있네 귀하신 주보혈 기쁨으로써 노래 부르며 영원히 마시 성령으로서 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 승리의 삶없네 아멘 마가다라 마가다라 주님의 제자같이 넘치고 있네 넘치고 있네 성령의 폭포수 주님 안에서 주님 안에서 
찬양합니다 호산나 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 주님과 가운데 오늘도 예수의 피가 흐르게 하여 주시옵소서 성령의 능력이 나타나게 하여 주시옵소서 우리 간절히 사모하며 주여 세운 물고 통성으로 기도하겠습니다 주여 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 할렐루야 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 우리 가운데 십자가 보이니 흐르게 하여 주시옵소서 성령의 능력으로 채워 주시옵소서 주님 마음을 바라보게 하여 주시옵소서 주님을 만나는 생명의 예배가 되게 하여 주시옵소서 귀한 말씀을 선포하시는 당장의 성령의 길을 부어주시옵소서 말씀 통해 우리가 변화되고 새로워진 기름 부으신 가운데 다시 한번 구마의 복된 역사 주님 앞에서 누리게 하여 주시옵소서 오 성령이여 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 호산나 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 다윗을 나서 우리를 구원하소서 우리를 불쌍히 여겨주시옵 우리를 돌아보아 주시옵소서 우리의 산소함 되신 예수 그리스도 생명의 의의를 찬양합니다 주여 붙들어 주시옵소서 오늘 주님께 더욱더 가까이 나갈 수 있도록 주님 도와주시옵소서 오 할렐루야 할렐루야 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 내소 To all of our foreign guests worshiping with us, this is Sharon, your interpreter. We invite you to prepare your heart by taking a few minutes to pray now. <laughs> Majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. Amen. Please stand as we sing the opening and found on page one. So 
We will now recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. be seated, please turn in your hymn book to page 36. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, who is the master of all things, we worship your holy name. Although we deserve death, you have guided us to the path of life, so we give you praise, worship, and honor at this time. Heavenly Father, today we will remember the redemptive grace of Jesus Christ. You have guided us to your house to worship you today as we live out 
in the world, we lived a shameful life before you. We pray that you forgive us of our sins and transgressions at this time. Heavenly Father, last week, we had an unfortunate accident that took away many innocent lives. We pray that your comfort will be upon the bereaved families. We also pray for every medical staff that are at the forefront of the COVID-19. We pray that we will overcome this crisis as soon as possible. Heavenly Father, we pray that COVID-19 will come to a halt, and we pray that peace will prevail across the globe. Heavenly Father, two weeks ago, we had celebrated the 26th PWC. We also held CGI conference. We give you thanks for giving us the grace to be at the forefront of serving many Christians. We pray that your abundant grace will be upon every missionary and pastor. We also pray for every department of this church. There are elder groups, elders groups, women's groups, and men's groups. We pray that they will not lack anything in carrying out your mission. Heavenly Father, Pastor Young Lee is here with us to preach your word. We give you thanks for bringing him here with us as he preaches your word. We pray that. The Holy Spirit, the Counselor, will be with him so that as we receive your word, all our worries and anxiety will flee away. Heavenly Father, there are elders and young people at your sanctuary to worship you. We pray that we will worship you with your hearts and minds. We also pray for the Nazareth Choir, which will give you a prayed song. And we pray for every cell group leader to receive your blessings. We also pray that every place worshiping with us via the internet will receive the same grace as us. We give you honor, glory, and worship. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We welcome all of our foreign guests to Yoido Full Gospel Church. This is Sharon bringing you a simultaneous interpretation of the service so you may be able to join us for worship. <laughs> The scripture reading for today is found in Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 31. Now let us read Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 31. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they pray, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Amen. You may now take up your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir music.
Thank you for the precious song. Let us make a faithful confession. Today is a truly good day. Good things will happen to all of us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy, we give you thanks for giving us this opportunity to gather for the communion worship service. Wherever we worship you, we pray that we will all enjoy your abundant grace and blessings, and we pray that the work of your healing will take place whenever we worship, whenever we hear your word. We pray that people will be changed and renewed within you. We give you honor, glory, and thanks. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Based on Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 31, I would like to share the grace of God under the title, The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. Please repeat after me. The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Work of the Fullness of the Holy Spirit. After believing in Jesus until we go to heaven, the most important thing is to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. After receiving salvation, all people can go to heaven. But as we struggle against small and big problems in life, we must experience the grace of God. And the secret behind that is to receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. In turn, we can fight against big and small problems, and we can overcome all hardships and difficulties. In order to do so, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and be used by God as precious servants. The disciples of Jesus followed Jesus for three and a half years, and they heard the word of God over and over again. They listened to the word of God to the point where they were able to memorize the word Around 100 AD, Apostle John went to heaven. He met Jesus and wrote John in Revelation. He clearly remember the words that Jesus had said before Apostle John received the fullness of the Holy Spirit he didn't show boldness before the Lord when Jesus was hung on the cross he shook in fear he met resurrected Jesus and even after that the disciples were hiding but after he received the fullness of the Holy Spirit the grace and blessings of God overflow in his life, the secret to explosive growth of the church is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Yoid of Gospel Church was able to grow explosively because there was the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Peter and John received the fullness of the Holy Spirit and they made the crippled men walk. And when they preached the Word of God, many People came and repented of their sins. Acts 4, 4 says, But many who heard the message believed, so the number of men who believed grew to about 5,000. We predict that if we include women, the number reached 20,000. This happens when we are filled with the Holy Spirit. When, the, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the church will grow explosively. 
Back then, religious leaders like priests captured John, Acts 4, 3 said they seized Peter and John and because it was evening they put them in jail until the next day. They captured them and put them in prison. What was the behind their manifestation of war? How did they heal the sick people? So they capture Peter and John and wanted to find out what was going on. First, I would like to talk about the authority that believers have. They, Acts 4, 7 says, they had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them, by what power or what name did you do this? Acts 4, 10 says, the following, then know this you and all the people of Israel, it is by name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucify, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you heal. There is power and healing in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power of great salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 4, 11 to 12 say, Jesus, the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone of salvation, is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. There is no other name under heaven except Jesus Christ that can bring about salvation. And we know that when the leader of Shincheonji, a religious cult, dies, there will be another leader that will follow his path. Religious cults continue to be formed, but they all talk about wrong things. John 14, 6 says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only truth. Jesus is the only life. There's no one who can guide us to the right path except Jesus. There's only Jesus is the one who can give us eternal life. Jesus is the only one who can give us the blessing of eternal life and salvation. Many religious leaders were shocked by what Peter and John were saying. And we saw this from the verses that we read today. Acts 4, 17 says, but stop this thing from spreading any further among the people. We must warn them to speak no longer to anyone in this name. Acts 4, 18 and 21 said, Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. After further threats, they let them go. They could not decide how to punish them because all the people were praising God for what had happened. People all knew that they were being healed by the name of the Lord. So the religious leaders threatened them not to spread the word. There is great power in the name of Jesus. And every power in the world kneel down before the name of the Lord. Philippians 2, 9 to 10 say, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, under the earth. Every authority knelt down before the Lord. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, evil spirit flee away. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, diseases leave, then diseases will leave. Why? Because there is great power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus will make diseases flee away, and it will make problems to go away. And that is why we must make faithful declarations in the name of Jesus. When we move forward in the name of the Lord, miracles come to pass. 
when we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we are able to boldly preach the Word of God and live our life. After Peter and John were released, they share their testimony. Acts 4, 29 to 30 say, Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. They earnestly pray, let us boldly preach the word of God. And when we stretch our hands, may diseases be healed and may miraculous signs and wonders manifest in the name of Jesus. When we move forward in the name of Jesus, we are able to boldly preach the word of God. And when we move forward in the name of Jesus, we are able to heal every disease. When we make faithful confessions and declarations, miraculous signs and wonders manifest in our life. Peter and John began to share the blessings that they had received. So think about what happened at the early church. There were no one poor, Acts 4, 33-35, say the following, with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerful at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them, for from time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money from the sales. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, so they were so thankful that they brought their wealth and took care of those that are poor. So there were no needy people in the days of the early church. There are many churches around the world, but we witness many poor people around us. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, God will take responsibility of all things. When we give our thanks to the Lord, the Lord will pour down His blessings upon us. We shouldn't just become stingy and hold on to our wealth. We must share our wealth to those that are in need. Last year, we donated more than 10 billion dollars to those who are in need. We share our wealth with them. And after such donation, God has blessed us over and over again. And even going through the tunnel of COVID-19, the situation of our offering was restored 100%. We are helping those who are in need every year. Our offering reached more than $100 billion, and we donate and set aside much of our finances to help those who are isolated and marginalized. Those who believe in Jesus must share their wealth with those that are in need. Third, I would like to talk about the work of the explosive growth of the church. Act 6, 7 says the following, So the word of God spread the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. The church grew so explosively that those who crucified Jesus came back to the church, and they repented of their sins. Hallelujah. There is no greater blessing than to believe in Jesus in our path called life. Act 6, 3 says the following, Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them. 
those who had received wisdom were at the forefront of building the church. We appoint deacons and elders within the church so that they will take responsibility of the things of the church and to lead the explosive growth of the church. Through those who are filled with the Holy Spirit, the early church grew explosively. Deacon Acts 7, 55 to 56, 8, but Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. It says, when Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit, the door of heaven opened. Stephen shouted, Acts 55 to 56, say the following, Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen saw the door of heaven being opened and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. When people heard this, they began to throw rocks at Stephen and killed him. Acts 7, 57 to 58 say, At this they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices. They all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witness lay their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. Until Stephen took his last breath, he preached the word of God. Saul witnessed this, and Saul was changed and was used by God in a precious way. When we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we are able to be used by the Lord in a precious way. Acts 1, 8 says the following. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Why do we receive power? We receive power to preach the word of God. We must become witnesses by receiving the fullness of the Holy Spirit and power. Polycarp was in charge of church in Smyrna. Soldiers came to capture Polycarp. But he served them meals and he said, I'm going to go and pray for some time, so help yourself. He prayed earnestly for two hours and more, and soldiers couldn't stop him praying. After he was done praying, soldiers said, let's go with us, and he was arrested by the soldiers. When he was about to go into prison, they heard the voice from heaven. And people who had arrested him witnessed that Polycarp was a holy man. And they couldn't kill him. And people, many people respected Polycarp. 
함께 어떤 말을 했습니다. 황제의 이름으로 맹세하라. 그러면 내가 너를 석방할 것이다. 그리스도를 욕하라. And the soldiers made him to declare the following, swear in the name of the emperor that we will save your life and insult Christ. And he declared the following, I was the servant of the Lord for past 86 years. The Lord has done nothing wrong to me. So how can I insult the Lord who saved me? Soldiers tried to save his life, but he, Polycarp, boldly declared that he can't insult the Lord. And soldiers said, if you don't change your heart, we will kill you and we will throw you into the den. And Polycarp said, go ahead and do so. I can't insult the Lord. And the soldiers also said, if you don't change your heart, we will burn you to death. And Polycarp said the following, you threat me with fire that will distinguish, but you don't know anything about eternal punishment and fire that can take your life away. So soldiers tried to burn Polycarp to death because he didn't make a following declaration. And Polycarp said the following, I receive eternal life and resurrection, and I am thankful for giving me the glory to become a martyr. God has prepared this moment, and I believe that my acts will glorify God. The wind embraced Polycarp, and because of the power of this wind, the soldiers can burn Polycarp to death. So soldiers took a sword and stabbed him, and they threw him into a hole and burned him to death. Party, Polycarp gave his life for the Lord, and by his sacrifice and by his holy death, many people received the Lord as their Lord and Savior. They witnessed Polycarp's death, his holy death, and many people turned from their wrong ways and came back to the Lord. Christianity is the tree that has life that was formed by the martyrism. We must pray to the Lord saying that we all embrace this kind of spirit of martyr. And I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will make this kind of determination. I hope that all of you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I hope that you will all be armed with the word of the Lord and be used by him in a precious way. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Let us make a faithful confession. Let us say that we will follow the path of the Lord until we go to heaven. Let us sing this hymn together.
아버지 주님 앞에 I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will be obedient to the Lord for the rest of your life. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is rich in love, grace, and mercy, we love Jesus who sacrificed his life for all of us. May we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and spread your word across the globe. And we would like to be used by you in a precious way. So we pray that you would pour down your abundant grace upon us. And for the rest of our life, may we not be changed and become loyal and obedient to you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please close your eyes momentarily and listen to this prayer. What is your life? Your life is like a mist that disappears quickly. There's no greater blessing than to believe in Jesus in our path called life that disappears like a mist. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and if you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please stand up where you are. And wherever you are, please stand up and repeat after this prayer. Even if you're in front of your TV, even if you're in front of your computer monitor, please stand up where you are and make the determination. Once you make this determination, your destiny will change and the Lord will give you amazing gift called salvation. Let us make firm determination now. And I hope that you will receive abundant grace and blessings of the Lord. Please repeat after this prayer. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I do not know where I've come from. I do not know why I'm living. I've been living in this world by wandering around for my sins. Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I've become God's child. From this day forward, I will live with the Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. Today, we will all attend the communion service. We must repent of our sins before attending this communion service. We must repent of our sins and transgressions before the communion. Let us call the Lord's name three times and pray together.
1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 29 say the following, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you, the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are here to remember the death of Jesus. And we are about to take the flesh and blood of Jesus at this time. We pray that all of our sins and transgressions will go away at this time. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Anyone that receives salvation can attend this communion service. You must repent of your sins and transgressions first because we're still following the quarantine quarantine guidelines of COVID-19 I ask that you will take this communion kit home and take it with your family people that have received salvation in the name of Jesus can all attend this communion service Please take this communion kit home and take it with your family. Let us sing a hymn together.
성찬세트를 들고 기도하겠습니다. 사랑과 은혜와 자비가 모아진 하나님. Let us pray. Heavenly Father who is filled with love, grace and mercy. 집에 가서 We will take the communicate home and take it with our family to remember the death of Jesus. And we pray that your work of healing will overflow as we take the communicate. And we pray that poverty, diseases, and evil spirits will leave. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please place your hand over the place where you're sick and please place your hand over your heart if you have problems. Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy. We have placed our hands of faith over the place where we're sick. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, may every disease leave. May all diseases leave from our head to toe. May severe headache, insomnia, depression, neurosis, and all kinds of mental illnesses flee away. May problems of our eyes, nose, mouth, and throat leave. May shoulder pain, spinal pain, stomach problems leave. May diabetes leave. May cancers, tumors, skin diseases, incurable diseases, and infertility leave me. Prayer requests of our children be answered. May our households and businesses enjoy prosperity of the Lord, and may our prayers be answered according to the will of the Lord. Believe that you have received what you have asked for. We give you honor, glory, and thanks, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. There is someone with swollen stomach. The Lord is healing him at this time. He will be able to digest well. Starting today, the Lord is healing someone with severe depression. The Lord is healing someone with brain problem. She has been diagnosed with this disease and she is being healed. The Lord is healing shoulder pain at this time. The Lord is healing arthritis. There is someone who is always nervous and anxious. The Lord is giving her peace at this time. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the sickness of the heart and our mind will all flee away. Please repeat after me. We will all receive the power of the fullness of the Holy Spirit and become witnesses of the Lord. And we will all practice the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us now give offerings of thanksgiving. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is truly good, we give you thanks for your grace and love. We give you thanks for calling us to the place of worship to worship in your hearts and minds. Through this worship service, you have given us the word of the truth and the life. We give you thanks for everything that you have done for us because we are thankful for the grace received. We are giving our precious offerings to you. Help us to give our offerings with thankful and delightful hearts. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. On Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship service, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. On Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. On Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from 8.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. We have English Sunday worship service at 9 and 11 a.m. in the second education building on the sixth floor in James Hall. We have English Friday night worship service at 8.30 p.m. in the second education building on the sixth floor in James Hall. <laughs>
내일부터 두 주일 동안 특별 새벽 기도가 열립니다 새벽 기도에 나와서 여러분 큰 은혜 받으시기 바랍니다 20일이 추삼사 주일인데 우리가 새벽 기도로 무장하고 정말 3년 만에 넘치는 감사의 추삼사를 예배를 드리도록 할 것입니다 기도는 할때 나와서 할때 드릴 때 은혜가 임합니다 기도하는 것이 중요한 것을 알면서도 기도를 하지 않으면 성의 능력이 임할 수가 없습니다 그러므로 시간을 내서 새벽에 나와서 몸이 불편하거나 또 나오기 어려운 형편에 있는 분은 집에 살아도 꼭 새벽에 배에 참여해서 하나님의 은혜를 받으시길 바랍니다 예물을 바치겠습니다 사랑과 은혜와 자비와 원하신 하나님 아버지 Let us pray Heavenly Father, who is full of love, we have given our offerings to you with sincerity, our Sunday offerings, Sunday school offerings, heart hospital offerings, mission offerings, and offerings in many forms. We pray that those have, who, those that have given offerings will receive your tremendous blessings so that they can live their lives by helping neighbors around them. Please stand as we sing the Lord's Prayer. infinite grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father God, and the indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and of your family members abundantly. Amen. As your interpreter, it has been a pleasure to help you on this Sunday service. May God be with you and bless you until we meet again. Hallelujah. Bethlehem s o n g e n e s e a g a m s a Cutie 365 Ebeso, Shibiro Samshibe Kaji, Kamsananun, Ichon Ishibi Hengsar, Chinehamida. Beju Ebeshi, J. Gyukan Chuchajang, Chia Yuchingeso, Chia Samsung Kajinun, Yong Yua Dongban, Songdo j o n y o n g r o De s o n g j o n Chia Samsung Chuchajangun, Segajo j o n y o n Chuchajangro, Unyong Deuni, Chamjoyo Jushigi, Paramida. Only Keshiram Mundrivian, Segajo h a n y o n g e g a Bethlehem s o n g e n e s e a Ismida. 온라인 세가족 분들은 교회 홈페이지 및 모바일 앱으로 등록 및 교육에 참여하실 수 있습니다. 이상 교회 소식을 마치겠습니다. 성도님들은 남녀 선교 안내에 따라 질서 있게 귀가해 주시기 바랍니다.
청취자 여러분 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 첫째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사 피해자 유가족들을 지원하기 위해 위로금 10억 원을 전하기로 했습니다. 첫 소식 김선태 리포터가 전해드립니다. 지난 주말 발생한 이태원 인명사고는 전 국민에게 큰 충격과 안타까움을 전했는데요. 사고 발생 다음 날인 30일 이영우 목사는 주일 예배 설교에 앞서 참사 피해자들과 가족들에게 위로의 말을 전했습니다. 어젯밤 이태원에서 할로윈 데이 축제로 모였던 청년들이 밀려서 넘어지면서 오늘 아직까지 149명이 사망한 것이 확인됐습니다. 유가족들에게 깊은 위로의 말씀을 전하고 또 지금 병원에 있는 많은 청년들이 빨리 건강이 회복돼서 가족 품으로 돌아가게 되기를 바랍니다. 이번 사고로 156명의 사망자 등 300여 명의 사상자가 발생했는데요. 우리 교회는 지난 31일 이태원 참사로 절망에 빠진 피해자 가족들을 지원하기 위해 10억 원의 위로금을 전달하기로 했습니다. 우리 교회의 사랑의 섬김은 각종 통신사와 언론을 통해서도 집중 조명됐고 또 한국교회의 위로사역의 도화선이 됐습니다. 지면을 통해 입장을 전한 이영훈 목사는 우리는 성경의 말씀처럼 슬퍼하는 자들과 함께 울며 고통 중에 있는 분들을 위로하고자 우리 사명을 다할 것이라며 한국교회가 이 일에 함께 나서주길 바란다고 전했습니다. 우는 자와 함께 울어주는 것이 우리 그리스도인들의 사랑의 삶의 모습이어야 되지 않겠습니까? 우리가 하나님 이곳에 있지만 우리 하나님 앞에 기도할 때 하나님께서 그들의 마음을 오르만져 주시옵소서. 또 2일 수요 예배에선 참사로 어려움을 겪고 있는 유족과 부상자들의 회복과 치유를 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 우는 자들과 함께 울라는 예수님의 말씀에 따라 국가와 사회의 아픔에 함께하며 우리 사회의 아픔이 조속히 치유되고 회복되길 한 마음 되어 기도합니다. FGTV 뉴스 김성태입니다. 우리 교회 부흥과 발전을 논의하기 위한 제2차 중직자 워크숍이 지난 29일 이영우 목사를 강사로 있었습니다. 계속해서 김선태 리포터입니다. 이날 모임은 지난 9월 열렸던 1차 워크숍에서 제기됐던 교회 주요 과제들을 점검하고 또 풀어가기 위한 시간이었습니다. 이영훈 목사는 우리 교회가 부흥의 물결에 오르기 위해 무엇보다 기본에 충실해야 할 것을 언급하며 리더들이 먼저 기도의 회복에 앞장서야 할 것을 강조했습니다. 우리 모두가 그러한 부흥의 물결을 타야 되는데 제일 시급한 것이 기도의 회복입니다. 기도의 회복. 이유를 여러 막론하고 리더들이 기도하지 않으면 교회에 여러 가지 문제 어려움을 해결할 방법이 없습니다. 우리들이 먼저 무릎을 꿇어야 됩니다. 우리들이 먼저 하나님께 기도해야 됩니다. 덧붙여 창세기부터 계시록까지 말씀 교육 강화의 중요성을 말했고 전도운동 회복의 필요성을 도전하며 원초적이고 원색적인 성령운동과 방언기도의 회복을 당부했습니다. 앞으로 우리 교회 기본 사역이 우리 순봉교회가 따르게 부흥하는 게 아니라 우리 조영기 목사님께서 늘 제가 귀 못이 박히도 성형받고 방안해야 된다. 성형받고 방안해야 된다. 전성도 성형받고 방안하는 운동. 전성도. 지금 부흥하는 교회는 장로교회, 감리교회는 다 방안해요. 다 방안해. 또 교회 안에 유모차와 휠체어가 편안하게 다닐 수 있도록 젊은 세대와 약자에게 배려하는 생각의 전환이 필요하다고 말했습니다. 그 생각의 전환. 이제는 우리가 눈높이를 20대, 30대에 맞춰갖고 낮아져서 섬기는 자세로 가야 돼. 여러분들 교회를 좀 바꾸셔야 돼. 여러분들 앞정서 헌신하셔야 돼. 계속해서 이영훈 목사는 앞선 오크숍에서 제기됐던 교회학교 지역 분교 운영안과 교회 내 결혼 지원 방안 등을 논의했고 우리 교회 모바일 앱을 활용한 매일 아침 메시지 전송과 청년 일자리 박람회 등에 대한 연구를 제안했습니다. 워크숍에 이어 김영석 성애 부본부장이 제26차 세계 우순절 대회에 대한 결과 보고를 가졌고 참석자들은 우리 교회의 부흥과 사역을 위해 합심하여 기도했습니다. 우리 교회가 강한 부흥의 물결에 올라 전 세계의 하나님 나라를 확장하는 거룩한 사명을 잘 감당해 가기를 기대해 봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 
순복음 실업인 선교연합회 사회사업 미용선교회는 28일 개인적인 사정으로 결혼식을 올리지 못한 여섯 쌍의 부부에게 가을날의 아름다운 추억을 선사했습니다. 이찬미 리포터가 전합니다. 결혼 행진곡과 함께 오늘의 주인공들인 신랑 신부가 입장합니다. 이날 결혼식을 올린 부부는 여섯 쌍으로 농어촌 거주자와 다문화 가정, 탈북민 등 피치 못할 사정으로 식을 올리지 못한 이들입니다. 결혼식을 위해 사회사업 미용 선교회 회원들은 신랑 신부 메이크업은 물론 턱시도와 드레스 대여까지 무료로 제공했고 순복음 실업인 선교연합회 홍보본부는 신랑 신부의 소중한 추억을 담은 웨딩 촬영을 지원했습니다. 사회사업 미용 선교회 송구명 회장의 사회로 진행된 예식에서 주례를 맡은 이영훈 목사는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치길 기원했고 또 서로에 대한 배려와 섬김을 당부했습니다. 오늘 여섯 가정 하나에서 큰 복을 주길 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 지금까지 힘들고 어려운 인생을 살아왔지만 이제부터는 좋은 일이 차고 넘치하고 행복하고 기쁘고 장수하고 의미 있고 보람되고 행복한 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. 신랑 신부들은 이영훈 목사의 성혼 선포에 따라 머리를 맞대고 혼인 서약에 큰 소리로 답했습니다. 함께 생활한 지 40년 만에 또 39년 만에 식을 올린 부부들은 너무 감사하다고 입을 모았습니다. 오랜 기간 미룰 수밖에 없었던 숙제를 마친 여섯 쌍의 신랑 신부들. 미래를 향한 발걸음이 더할 나위 없이 경쾌해 보입니다. FGTV 뉴스 이참입니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 이영우 목사는 지난 30일 주일 예배에 참석한 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들과 환담을 나눴습니다. 이 자리에는 국제사역 담당 길버트 곤잘레스 위원 등이 함께했습니다. 이영우 목사는 우리 교회와 국제구호개발 NGO 구피블이 함께하는 사업들을 소개했고 미국 국가조창 기도회 임원들은 이들 사업에 대한 미국의 협력과 한미동맹 강화를 강조했습니다. 이영우 목사는 지난 28일 유력 시사 잡지인 월간 조선과 인터뷰를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 이영우 목사는 코로나 이후 한국 교회의 회복과 부흥, 또 섬김과 나눔 사역 등 다양한 주제로 대화했습니다. 또 코로나로 촉발된 젊은 세대의 미래에 대한 불안함 증가에 대해 한국 교회가 위기를 기회로 바꿔 나가는 지혜가 필요한 시점이라고 진단했습니다. 인터뷰 기사는 월간 조선 12월 후에 게재됩니다. 우리 교회는 11월 13일 둘째 주일부터 어린 자녀들과 교회에 나온 성도들, 또 새가족들을 위해 주일 주차장 운영 방식을 변경합니다. 이용우 목사는 지난 30일 이 같은 내용을 성도들에게 전하며 교회의 미래인 다음 세대가 더욱 부흥하도록 성도들의 협조를 당부했습니다. 우리 3040 부모들을 위해서 교회 모든 들어오는 입구 유모차를 갖고 오기에 편하도록 다 고치도록 했고 주차 공간도 특별히 마련해서 주차고 바로 교회 예배당 보고 올수 있도록 조치를 취하라고 지시를 했습니다. 그래서 이 한시예배 상호사공 젊은 부모들이 많이 나와서 함께 예배드리고 우리 아이들이 이곳에서 자라서 우리 대한민국의 미래를 변화시킬 위대한 인물들이 많이 태어나기를 간절히 소원합니다. 할렐루야. 변경 운영안에 따라 새가족과 함께 온 차량은 대성전 지하 3층을 또 영유아 동반 3040 성도들 차량은 제2교육관 주차장을 이용하면 됩니다. 우리 교회는 코로나가 한창이던 2020년 9월부터 모바일 간편 헌금 서비스를 제공하고 있는데요. 스마트폰을 통해 언제 어디서나 쉽게 헌금할 수 있는 서비스입니다. 간편 헌금 서비스는 유비페이와 국민은행 두 가지 방법으로 이용할 수 있습니다. 국민은행의 경우 PC와 모바일 앱, 모바일 웹에서 모두 헌금할 수 있습니다. 또 사용자 중심의 결제 플랫폼으로 한번 등록으로 안전하게 헌금할 수 있고 관리도 용이합니다. 교회학교는 9월 16일부터 10월 28일까지 7주 동안 학생들의 금요 철야 예배인 틴스파워 청소년 철야 예배 출석 챌린지 이벤트를 진행했습니다. 현장에는 매주 150명에서 200여 명 사이의 학생들과 교사, 학부모들이 모여 예배드리며 
하나님의 자녀답게 살아갈 것을 다짐했습니다. 교회 학교는 7주간 한 번도 빠지지 않고 출석한 85명의 학생들을 시상했고 이중 5명을 추천해 특별상도 시상했습니다. 장년대교구 비전 1교구 성도들은 지난 29일 송도 예수비전 순복음교회에서 단기 선교를 가졌습니다. 부모와 자녀 41명이 한 팀을 이뤘고 예수비전교회 창립 9주년 예배에서 찬양 인도와 특송에 함께했습니다. 또 송도 땅밟기를 가지며 각자가 밟는 모든 땅에 하나님의 나라가 임하도록 선포했습니다. 마포 1대교구와 관악대교구, 강서 2대교구, 용산대교구는 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함과 교구 부흥을 위해 힘써 기도했습니다. 금천대교구와 영등포대교구, 반석대교구는 3, 4, 5, 0 예배를 드리고 각 교구의 허리층이 더욱 견고해지도록 예배했습니다. 또 양천대교구는 남성 연합 예배를 갖고 남성 지구역 부흥을 위해 기도했습니다. 남대문 성전은 10월 27일부터 사흘간 상권 회복과 새 생명 전도 축제를 위한 특별 새벽 기도회를 가졌고 30일에는 새 생명 전도 축제를 가졌습니다. 전도 축제에는 30여 명의 태신자가 참석했습니다. 새성북 성전의 수요 어머니 기도회가 뜨겁습니다. 매 수요 예배 후 시작되는 기도회에는 200여 명의 어머니들이 참석해 자녀와 가족, 교회 부흥과 예배 회복, 다음 세대 부흥을 위해 기도하고 있습니다. 우리 교회의 530번째 개척교회인 선암마음교회가 29일 창립 예배를 드렸습니다. 이영호 목사는 영상을 통해 교회 창립을 축복했고 한상인 목사가 창립 예배에서 설교했습니다. 계속해서 단임 목사 취임과 공포가 있었고 공창남 개척위원장이 공로패와 개척지원금을 전했습니다. 서철원 목사는 온전한 헌신을 다짐했습니다. 국제고호개발 NGO 구피플은 지난 31일 DGB 캐피탈과 함께 러시아와 우크라이나의 전쟁을 피해 국내에 입국한 안산시 고려인 남빈 130가구에 1,300만 원 규모의 침구류와 생필품으로 구성된 사랑의 희망 박스를 지원했습니다. 이번 주 오산리 기도원에서는 꿈을 이루는 축복 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.
할렐루야 할렐루야 오직 주님만이 우리의 기쁨 되시는 줄로 믿습니다 오직 주님만이 우리의 소망 되시는 줄로 믿습니다 정말로 그렇게 믿으십니까? 그 주님께 이 시간 믿음으로 나아가시겠습니까? 그렇다면 우리 모두 그 자리 가운데서 일어나서 사도신경으로 신앙을 고백하시겠습니다 전능하사 천지를 만드신 하나님 아버지를 내가 믿사오며 그 외아들 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 믿사오니 이는 성령으로 잉태하사 동정녀 마리아에게 나시고 본디오 빌라도에게 고난을 받으사 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시고 장사한 지 사흘 만에 죽은 자 가운데서 다시 살아나시며 하늘에 오르사 전능하신 하나님 우편에 앉아 계시다가 저리로서 산자와 죽은 자를 심판하러 오시리라 성령을 믿사오며 거룩한 공예와 성도가 서로 교통하는 것과 죄를 사하여 주시는 것과 몸이 다시 사는 것과 영원히 사는 것을 믿사옵나이다 아멘 할렐루야 하나님께 영광의 박수 올려드립니다 
조차도 반갑고 나의 생명 나의 참 소망을 오직 예수 우리 믿음으로 한번더 고백하기 원합니다 나의 기쁨 나의 소망 되시는 주님 나의 기쁨 나의 소망 되시며 나의 생명이 되신 주 생명과 나의 참 소망 대신 오직 주 예수님께 영광의 박수 올려드립니다 할렐루야 할렐루야 우리 이 시간 힘차게 박수치면서 우리를 주에서 구원하실 주님의 이름을 찬양하며 나아갑니다 죄에서 구하시려 주 예수 십자가 지셨으니 기쁘게 부르세 할렐루야 나 구원하노네 한번더 우리를 우리를 죄에서 구하시려 주 예수 십자가 지셨으니 기쁘게 부르세 할렐루야 나 할렐루야 우리를 죄에서 구원하시고 우리를 자녀 삼으시고 주님의 친구나 불러주신 주님께 감사의 박수를 찬양하며 나아갑니다 할렐루야 오 
들으시는지 들으시는지 내기도 주님 진실로 날 생각하시네 날 사랑하네 놀라워라 주님 멋지 날 생각하시는지 들으시는지 내 기도 주님 진실로 날 생각하시네 날 사랑하네 친구로 부르셨네 나를 주게 나는 주의 친구 나는 주의 친구 주님 나 친구로 부르셨네 할렐루야 할렐루야 우리가 친구라 부르실 주님 우리가 어느 사업 가운데 할지라도 나와 함께 하시는 주님의 이름을 찬양합니다 하늘이야 주님을 찬양 부채가 물을 
친구 삼아 주신 주님 오직 주님의 이름만 찬양하며 주님만 의지합니다 할렐루야 
주시는 평강에 오세겠습니다 주님 오직 주님 한 분만 의시하며 주님 안에서 자유함을 선포하며 믿음으로 아버지 하나님 확신을 가지고 나아가게 해달라고 주님 안에 의시하며 승리하게 해달라고 주여 선창하시고 동성으로 기도하시겠습니다 주여 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 하시는 주님 모든 주님만을 의지하게 하여 주옵소서 모든 나를 사랑하시는 주님 안에서 내 영혼이 안전합니다 주님 나를 승리했습니다 나를 주님 안에서 평안합니다 아버지 하나님 주님께서 세상 믿으셨어 우리 모든 주 예수 이름 안에서 우리도 승리를 선포합니다 우리가 함께 하시는 주님 모든 주님 안에서 믿음이 더욱더 자라나고 아버지 믿음의 확신을 가지고 주님 앞에 나아가게 하여 주옵소서 주여 Father God, you full of love and grace, we give thanks to you for forgiving us our sins through sending your Son to be crucified on the cross. Father God, on this Holy Communion Sunday, let all the young people's souls be renewed and let them praise and worship you and you only. Father God, Korea is located in a peninsula. Let the north and south be peacefully reunited and let us spread the gospel through the North Korea and all the people in Korean Peninsula be united in their hearts through the gospel forgiveness and reconciliation Father God we want all of the politicians to be united in their hearts and let them serve the people truly Father God please have mercy on those souls who were who died in the Itaewon incident and please comfort their family's heart. Father God, thank you for blessing all the congregations of Beautiful Gospel Church for 64 years. 
let all the congregations spread the gospel through the world until you come to this world again. And please bless our senior pastor, Yang Hong Lee, to lead this church. And please bless all the disciple churches and branch churches and pioneer churches. And let all those churches and congregations please you. And please bless our pastor, Kim. Please strengthen his soul and anoint him with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let his sermon and himself lead the young people of Yodaful Gospel Church. And let the chained be free, let the sick be healed, and let all the business and family families be blessed through the sermon of his Father God, please bless all the young generation of this church. Let all those young generation souls be strengthened and give them power and wisdom to be the future of this country. Father God, be with them all the time and please open the gate of your kingdom to them and let them serve the world and people through their talents given by you. And please bless the choir who praise you with the beautiful music and please remember all the helping hands of the service and the cell leaders. Let them receive your power and grace and your blessings. We prayed in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. You are now worshiping the fifth service of today. We welcome you to the Full Gospel Church, and we pray that today's message in the choir will be a blessing to you. This is Eun Jung, bringing you some simultaneous translation of the service, so you may enjoy worshiping with us. God bless you today. Today's scripture reading is found in 1 Samuel chapter 27, verse 1 to 7. 1 Samuel chapter 27, verse 1 to 7. Let us read it together. But David thought to himself, One of these days I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul. The best thing I can do is to escape to the land of the Philistines. Then Saul will give up searching for me anywhere in Israel and I will slip out of his hand. So David and the 600 men with him left and went over to Achish, son of Maok, king of Gath. David and his men settled in Gath with Achish. Each man had his family with him, and David had his two wives, Ahinoam of Jezreel and Abigail of Carmel, the widow of Nabal. When Saul was told that David had fled to Geth, he no longer searched for him. Then David said to Achish, If I have found favor in your eyes, let a place be assigned to me in one of the country towns that I may live there. Why should your servant live in the royal city with you? So on that day, Achish gave him Zeklag, and it has belonged to the kings of Judah ever since. David lived in Philistine territory a year and four months. 
Amen. Let us pray for the service, for a moment, for our service, for our church, for our senior pastor Lee, for his health and spirituality, and for all our elders, cell leaders, young leaders, for all our, for all our congregations, 
to experience the miracle at this moment. Let us call our Lord's name three times and pray in unison. Lord, Lord, Lord. Father God, please be with us at this service. Let's unburden all our worries in the world and let us only focus on to you. Please guide our heart. And Father God, at this moment, these young people are at your chapel to give worship service to you. Please let all of them decide their heart to renew their souls and their lives. Father God, we give thanks to you for sending us the Holy Spirit and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This, more, this afternoon, I'd like to share a message under a title. Please repeat after me, God, whom we experience in despair. These days, young generation, they are supposed to be overflowing with the hope and new dream. They are actually suffering from misery and despair in their lives. There was a research about this situation. There's people who die because of their social situation. Their deaths are called submissive deaths. And Kierkegaard said about despair. He said, despair is a sickness unto death. People in this world experience despair in their lives. And the despair makes us suffer to death. And in the Bible, David in this David is in his despair. In fact, David's life 
was never miserable. He was on a roll. In the Bible, there is David's life written in 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 5. Whatever mission Saul sent him on, David was so successful that Saul gave him a high rank in the army. This pleased all the troops and Saul's officers as well. And verse 7 says, As they danced, they sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. Yes, people said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David has his tens of thousands. People praised David. His life was on such a roll, but from a certain moment, his life became problematic and he eventually became so miserable as a fugitive. If David had experienced despair, we can also experience despair. But even though we have to look up to the Lord and rely on to the Lord, we have to experience the Lord who can, who we can experience in our despair. So if we want to experience the Lord who we experience in despair, we must get rid of negative thoughts. First Samuel chapter 27 verse 1 says, But David thought to himself, One of these days I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul. The best thing I can do is to escape to the land of the Philistines. In the Bible, David was not yet caught. It was not a moment to despair, but he already did. Why was he in his misery? Because he was obsessed with his negative thoughts. David confessed like this in the Bible. I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul, even though he wasn't caught by Saul yet, but he thinks he will be caught by Saul eventually that he already despaired. Even though he wasn't caught, these negative thoughts that he might be caught made him suffer and despair. There is a book called Look Back in Anger. This book explain, explains the reason why people choose to kill themselves. When there is a pressure for survival, people don't kill themselves. But then, when do they kill themselves? When there is a fear approaching in the distance, when it is, when it is impending, they decide to kill themselves. People do not kill themselves when they are actually in misery, but when they have the fear of impending crisis, they are led by the negative thoughts that they choose to kill themselves. We do not despair in a misery. The fear of impending Despair makes us choose the wrong path. Those negative thoughts deepen our despair. David was like this. He wasn't caught yet, and he wasn't at the moment to despair, but he already was obsessed by the negative thoughts that he was in his misery. We have to fill our mind with positive thoughts that we can do it and we can make it. We must arm ourselves with those positive thoughts. I bless you in the name of the Lord. So second, how can we experience God whom we experienced in despair? 
Please repeat after me. We have to pray. We have to pray. 1 Samuel chapter 27 verse 2 says, So David and the 600 men with him left and went over to Achish, son of Maok, king of Gath. In the Bible, David, who was upset, b obsessed by the negative thoughts, made a huge mistake. He went to Achish, the king of Gath. Gath was the land of Philistines. Those who did not fear the Lord, those who did not praise the Lord, it was land of those people, but David went to that land of those people. Because of his fear, because of his impending misery, he ran away to Philistine. How absurd is this? Why did he do such thing? He shouldn't have done this. But why? Why did he do that? Because he was obsessed by the negative thoughts, because of his misery. He did not pray or he did not ask the Lord his plan. He just wanted to survive that he, he decided this himself. Last week, we shared a story about David who overcame his hardships. He ran away to the cave in Adullam. His situations were miserable enough, but in his misery, in his despair, he prayed first. His desperate prayer is written in 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse 3. Until I learn what God will do for me, he said. It means that he will pray until he learns what God will prepare for him, until he knows the plan of God for him. He was confessing that he will pray until he realizes. And in Psalms chapter 57, verse 1, his prayer is written in Adullam. Let us read it together. I have mercy, have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the dis disaster has passed. Where did he escape? He escaped to the shadow of God's wings. He decided to do that. If we do not pray, the ways of the world seems bigger than the ways of the Lord. It seems more sweeter and easier. However, the ways of the world cannot solve our problems truly. It just deepens our misery. David, who did not pray, he did not re take refuge in the shadows of the Lord's wings, but he escaped to the land of Philistine. Therefore, you and I, when we face the misery, we must pray to the Lord first. We must seek the Lord's plan for us. I bless you in the name of the Lord. And, that, and last, how can we experience God who we experience in despair? Please repeat after me. We must not lose our identity. 1 Samuel chapter 27, verse 5 says, Then David said to Achish, if I have found favor in your eyes, let a, pa let a place be assigned to me in one of the country towns that I may live there. Why should your servant live in the royal city with you? 
What does this mean? David said to Akish, If I have found favor in your eyes, I am your servant. How absurd is this? We are looking at this weakness of David. This expression was actually the expression he used to the Lord, and now he is using this, these words to the enemy. These words he used to Akash. We might think it might be able to use those expression that says, if I have found favor in your eyes. But we cannot, we can never understand that he said himself as servant of his. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 36 says, Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, because he has defied the armies of the living God. Before Philistine and Goliath, he said that those people are like the boars and the bears. But now, he was saying that he is the servant of those people who he said are like animals earlier. He was in such misery that he lost the Lord who was with him until then. He lost the fact that he is the Son of God. Likewise, when we are living in this world, when we face the despair and misery, we sometimes forget the fact that we are the beloved children of the Lord. When, when you prayed for your job, you couldn't get a job. And when you prayed for your family's recovery, it does not happen. And you despair and you fall in your misery. And that is when you lose your identity, that you are the beloved son and daughter of the Lord. You think God does not love you. And your identity as the children of the Lord is shaken. If those identities are shaken, we lose the Lord and we look at the world. David was the same. Even though he ran away, he could not hide. And he was, he fell in such misery that he lost his identity as a beloved son of the Lord. And he did not take refuge in the shadows of the Lord's wings, but he took refuge in the land of Philistine. When we face despair and misery. We must remember this. We are the beloved children of the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Pastor, I am in such misery. Does God really love me? My family is in such trouble, but God never answers me. Am I really a child of God? We might ask this. However, the answer is so clear. God is still God still loves us and we are his children. We are the beloved children of the Lord. Believe in this. The way of expressing this love is different from us. However, the fact that he loves us does not change. In my Instagram, I saw a comment that asked me, where can I find my value? I think a 
on the love of the cross which Jesus Christ was crucified for us, we can find our value. Because of that love, you, your and my life is valuable enough. We must always remember the love of the Lord, and we must never forget that we are the beloved children of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I heard a testimony of a pastor when he started his ministry. There was a huge trouble, huge heart, hardship came to him. His second son was born with a disability. His mental shock was so great. However, even when he couldn't still get over it, he completely lost his sight due to the acute optical disease. And everything seemed to fall down. He couldn't see anything. God or anything. So one day he went to the beach to kill himself. That day it was freezing that he tightened his collar. But at that moment God made him realize I'm going to I'm going to die but I care about feeling cold. That is when he realized that he didn't really want to die, but he actually wanted to live so badly, even though he was facing the misery. He started to believe that God has a plan for him. After that, his attitude toward the world has totally changed. He only looked up to the Lord. His negative thoughts were gone, and he was starting to have hopes for every situation and instead of worrying he started to pray and he seeked for the ways of the Lord he said like this the, the God I met at the bottom of my life changed my life when we suffer because of our misery we must remember there is Lord with us all the time. I want all of you to remember this. I bless you in the name of the Lord and let us pray. Father God, thank you for having us here at this wonderful day at your chapel. Please let us realize through the life of David that we must give all our lives to you and you only please guide our heart and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen today is a Holy Communion Sunday we must remember his broken flesh and shed blood when we repent on our sins and take part in the Holy Communion, we will experience miracles. Everyone who is saved can take part in the Holy Communion. Before, before it, we will pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> For 
I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ eat and drink judgment on themselves. Father God, you're full of love, grace, and mercy. Let us remember his broken flesh and shed blood through this bread and wine. Let us all repent on our sins before we take part in the Holy Communion and let us experience your great miracles. And please bless us. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us take part in the Holy Communion. in the Holy Communion, let us remember the words of the Lord and let us pray for the Holy Spirit to guide our heart. Let us call our Lord's name three times and pray in unison. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, God. 
Let us pray again for all our prayers to be answered and to the Lord. And let us pray to feel the love of His. Let us feel the love of the Lord who sacrificed Himself for our sins. And let us pray for the Lord to guide our heart to rely on to the love when we live in this world. Let us pray, Lord, Lord, Lord.
are in despair, we have to decide our heart to rely on to the Lord. And if you have decided it, lay your hands on your chest. And if you want to live in this world with the love of Jesus Christ who sacrificed himself for us, and if you believe that God will heal our weakness and diseases, lay your hands on your chest and repeat after my prayer. Father God, thank you for making us realize your grace through our weakness. Lord, who loved David, even though David lost your love, but let us not lose your love in our whole life. Let us rely on the love of yours in this world and let us have the cross of Jesus Christ as the reason for our lives. And let us overcome all the sufferings and miseries through the love of the cross. Please guide us and bless us, Lord. And Father God, we have our sicknesses. Please lay your hands on all of us and let the work of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit appear on us. I order in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all diseases will go away. All the darknesses and evils will go away. Will go away. Will go, go away from our families. Will go away from our business. Will go away from all our lives. Father God, please answer all our prayers. And let us confess with our lips that you are alive. And let us praise you. Father God, thanks for answering all our prayers. And thanks for letting us decide our heart. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us give a round of applause to the Lord who answers all our prayers. And now we will pray again. Please listen to me for a moment. What is your life? You are a morning mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. There is no better blessing than believing in Jesus Christ in your life. No matter where you are, if you are here or if you are at other places, please stand and lay your hands on your chest and repeat after my prayer. Your prayer will change your fate and your life. Father God, I am a sinner. I do not know where I'm from, why I live. I do not know where I'm going. I have lived in sins. You died on the cross for my sins. I received Jesus Christ who resurrected as my personal savior. I have become the child of God. I will live for you from now and forever. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Now let us give offerings with joy and gratitude. Father God, you full of love, grace, and mercy, our good Lord, we give thanks to you for giving us a new day and your blessings. You let us realize your love and you let us gather here to give worship service. We give thanks to you. Let us rely on your love when we live in this world. We have given our offerings with joy and gratitude. Please guide our heart through the Holy Spirit. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
there is a special early morning prayer meeting for the families and blessings for children and for Thanksgiving. And there is a event called Thanksgiving with you in youthful gospel at Friday service and fifth service of Thanksgiving week. I want all of you to take part in the service. And at the Vision Bridge Ministry, there are students who are preparing for the Korean SAT. There are names attached on the chairs who are preparing for the Korean SAT. Please pray for them. And they will be coming to the useful gospel from next year. So please pray for them. And now we will pray for the offerings. Father God, thank you for being with us today, giving us this wonderful day to give worship service to you. Father God, we have decided our heart to rely on your love. Let our decisions not be shaken in the world. And let us overcome the misery and difficulties in the world by praying to you. Father God, we have given our offerings. Let them be used for your kingdom. And please bless the giving hands hundredfolds and thousandfolds. Now, may the abandoned grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all the congregations who decided to rely on to the love of the Lord in their hardships. And all the young generations in this church and their family members and in their daily life forever. Amen. It has been a pleasure to minister to you today in this service. This is Sun Jung, your interpreter for this service. Thank you for coming today and God bless you.
겨울 해외 단기 선교 팀원을 모집합니다. 모집 기간은 오늘까지이며 모집 지역은 일본 후사와 필리핀 앙헬레스 두 팀입니다. 자세한 내용은 월드미션 사무실로 문의해 주시길 바랍니다. 순복음 호스피스 정규교육 개강 예배가 11월 9일 수요일 오후 1시 베들레헴 성전에서 있습니다. 감사 큐티 365 앱에서 11월 30일까지 나, 감사 나눔 2022 행사를 진행합니다. 매 주일 예배 시 제2교육관 주차장 지하 1층에서 지하 3층까지는 영, 유아, 동반, 성도 전용으로 대성전 지하 3층 주차장은 세가족 전용 주차장으로 운용되어 오니 양보해 주시기 바랍니다. 오늘 결신한 분들을 위한 세가족 환영회가 베들레헴 성전에서 있습니다. 온라인 세가족 분들은 교회 홈페이지 및 모바일 앱으로 등록 및 교육에 참여하실 수 있습니다. 다음은 청장년구 구호 제창이 있겠습니다. 모두 자리에서 일어나 주시기 바랍니다. 청장년구 구호 준비! 한 사람의 예수님을 믿음으로 행복한 청장년구! 아멘! 아멘! 아멘!